tingly. <laughs> I always like feel feel this way when I'm about to cry. I shouldn't. <laughs> wow, look how pretty it is. Hold on, let me change my category. Oh my god, this is so nice. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. Should we watch the trailer? Oh. You know what's funny is I, I haven't seen it yet. I only, at least I don't think I've seen the newest one. Is it too loud? Yeah, I have seen this one. skies and boundless possibilities. <laughs> I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change?
I feel like it's Look, my friends. tradition. It's tradition to watch the trailer before every expansion. Trust you have not forgotten the true purpose of our voyage. Last, we have come to the land you call the new world. I love this new character. She's so cute. It is time, guys! <laughs> Lollafell's the main character in this story now. Woo! Every time I see people post, like, with, um, like, all of the main characters, like, Yishtola and everybody, I always am like, oh my god, they're cheating on me. <laughs> they're cheating on me because that's not my character. My character doesn't look like that. <laughs> Stop hugging them. I'm the warrior of light. <laughs> This character is the warrior of light, all right? I can't see it any other way. It has to be a lava film. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh man, if you had no idea what was going on then, I you're, I think you're in a, a world of hurt later, Killa. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV can be a lot for a new person, but it's okay. We were just watching the trailer. We are just watching the trailer, and if you have no idea what's going on, that's okay, because I haven't even played yet. That they're just showing what's to come. Lollafell makes great artillery shells to use against bosses. Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, what do we got over here? What's this? What is this thing? What is this? Oh my god, after all of that, it's just so calm and peaceful here. <laughs> what is this? Aether flow gauge and fairy gauge unlocked? Yes. Oh my god, the wait. What? Why are they showing me this? Oh. Whoa! My character! Whoa, I look different! Obviously. Whoa, what? Really? Rhea, don't move. You look different too! Whoa! HD! <laughs> it's HD! Ooh. Whoa, I should have taken some screenshots before we switched. Uh. Final Fantasy is too much money. They do have free trials, but I, I understand if you can't afford it. Only 21 in the queue. Dang, they got they quieted down since launch day. I think launch day actually wasn't that bad. I, I didn't see anybody saying anything negative about launch day. Did y'all? I didn't see anything. But maybe, then again, I probably also wasn't paying attention. Um, oh my god, and remember we can dye stuff. But we can dye, oh my god, we can dye it so many different colors. How do we do this though? This is new. They added more ways to dye your clothes. Okay, hold on. What about this? What is this one? Wait, how do you do this? It's the same thing. I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? Other data centers got slammed yesterday. Oh, I just, I'm lucky to be in Primal then. Thank you, Vin. I think it got worse depending on server and time. Ours has been mostly fine as far as I know. Yay. That hat only has one die. Oh, boo. I guess that was a bad, <laughs> bad thing to look at. What about this? Does this one only have one die too? The whole set. Oh, is this how you see it? It can only be dyed one thing. <laughs> Lame. The icon will have two dots. Two dots. Two dots. 
Oh, like dot, dot, like these dots right here. Most of the pre-7.1 will have one die. Okay, so everything else. Okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, what should we do first? I think we should head right towards uh, main story quest, right? <laughs> should we do a new world to explore? Oh my god. Usually mornings are the best to log in. Last night I had 3,000 person queue. Okay. Well, shoot. Never mind then. I didn't realize. Hopefully it will calm down soon so that you guys can um, log in without any issues. Someone had her boyfriend switch DCs and he had a 2K login queue while she was on a server with 50 people in queue. Oh gosh. It gets busier at night. It's okay. I need to go use the restroom real quick first, and then we'll start the MSQ. Right? Right. Yes. Let's do that. Also, I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't want to have any quests active. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah, Night Aether had, oh, has been having two to three, okay. Oh, hmm. Interesting. I remember Aether was always the most. Is Aether the always? Yeah, that one's the one that's always the most popular. All right. Let's start? Question mark. Oh my god. We're playing Final Fantasy Dawn Trail. Ooh. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the new areas. Now, keep in mind, guys, I've been told that at the beginning, I don't even think I needed to be told this, but um, usually at the beginning, it's a lot to build up. So it might be pretty slow at, at the beginning. Um, so just heads up. I will be reading everything. So if you um, wanna relax and have an audiobook, this is definitely the stream for that. I will be reading everything. Um, actually, let me put in my title that I'm doing MSQ. So then people know I'm doing the main story quest. <clears throat> Hi Dylan, good morning. West Coast, thank you for two months. I appreciate you. Now I also will be pausing my alerts just because I don't know when crazy scenes are gonna happen. Um, and sometimes the alerts just kind of make it hard to hear. So I will be pausing alerts when I have like cut scenes and stuff. Um, so just heads up. I will play them after the cutscene ends, of course. So if I don't say hi, thank you right away, just please forgive me. You did the FC buffs? Oh, you did! Thank you. Appreciate you doing that. I got two new controllers last week, which light up. Wait, what kind of controllers are they, Madrona? Count how many words she messes up, chat. That's your mini game. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wait, I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go to the... <laughs> Rip. Rip. <laughs> Madrona, thank you so much for sub gifting the cystic. Yeah, cystic. Thank you. For some reason, I read that weird, but thank you. Welcome to the fairy family, cystic. It is slow, but it's so much fun. Don't rush. Enjoy your time. Will do, will do. I, I will always have such a good time. I'm just letting people know that may not, I don't know, just know how I do things here, I guess. Maybe I read it, take my time. I miss, I will definitely butcher words up. If you guys know how to properly pronounce them, you can try your best to help me. <laughs> Hi, Sono. Is Final Fantasy XIV my favorite Final Fantasy? Um, it's my favorite MMO. Because I feel like you can't really compare this game to the other Final... I don't know. I also love Final Fantasy X, so... <laughs> but the story in this game is unmatched to a lot of games I've played. Bowling! Thank you for 48 months! Definitely getting tongue-tied on some of the Turl names for sure. Well, I will try my best. So, I... Yeah. I'm not trying to say them wrong. I just, obviously, it's difficult, <laughs> as y'all know. So we'll see. Um, did you get the mountain zoo mount? I don't know what that is. I don't think so. 
I don't know. Oh, shoot. Am I wearing the earrings? I don't need to wear the earrings. Yes, I do. I can wear them until 91, can't I? Okay. All right. I'm going to pause my alerts because I think this is going to be a cutscene. And let us begin. Dawn Trail. A new world to explore. Ooh. Welcome back, miss. I've just heard had word from Aaron Bell. Bill, Aaronville. It seems he's managed to secure passage to draw aboard a guild ship vessel. Why don't you wait in the main hall while I go and inform your travel companions? It should only take a moment. Oh my god, the new quest accepted sound? Did y'all hear that? Oh my god! Wait, I need to turn that up next time I hear that. Oh, I love it! New sound! <laughs> that sounded cool! All right, where am I supposed to go? In here? Yup. Oh, oh, Mountain Dew. No, I don't know how to get that. Tell me how to get it. Can I still get it? Oh, exactly, Astra. Yeah, no other games are getting 10 plus years of story dev and being this solid. Like, no way. <laughs> but I also love Final Fantasy X, so I hate having to choose. Like, why do we have to choose? Why do we have to choose our favorite games? I love them all. All equally. <clears throat> wow, that sounded, that sounded cute. Okay. <laughs> Who are we gonna see first? Is, are they all just gonna come in at the same time? Oh my god, this is what the new graphics update. Oh, Cryo, okay, hold on, show me your face! Ojika told, er, Ojika gave us the good news. We've made ready to set sail at a moment's notice. The only one yet to arrive is Aaronville himself. Show me your face! Oh my god, they look so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the detail, guys. Ah, oh, you're all here. Oh, look at it. Oh! It took some persuasion, but the Gleaner's Guild Ship has granted us places aboard a vessel bound for Tara. There will be passengers, researchers, and artisans, and the like, so we'll need to share deck space. Of course. That's fine, Aaron Bell. I doubt anyone expected we'd have a ship all to ourselves. True. Um, they're not casting off just yet, so if you have any lingering concerns, now is the time to voice them. I wouldn't call it a concern, but everyone's still clear on what it is, what it is we'll be doing in Tural, yes? We've not forgotten. The nation of Tuliola is in the midst of deciding its next ruler. As your chosen allies, we shall assist you during the rite of secession and support your bid to become Dawn Servant. Good little recap there. It's like, why are we, what are we doing now? In addition to that, Alphano and I have another objective. As part of its reconstruction, Garlemald seeks ways to reconcile and re-engage with its neighbors. By visiting Toral, we hope to learn more about how its myriad cultures interact with one another, how they find common ground, develop stronger ties, the sorts of insights that might help our friends in Isilbard. Right, Corp? <laughs> it's okay. It's just a typical thing people bring up when they just want to have a conversation, and that's okay. But we'll pursue this goal in our own time. You can be assured that we'll give the, con the contest all due attention. That's all I ask. Otherwise, you're welcome to do as you like. <sighs> you wanted to find out about your grandfather, right, Cryo? Hmm. Yes, as far as we could determine from the old missive I found, he had been tasked with investigating the Golden City by your father, the Dawn Servant. Yet, oddly enough, we have no record of that investigation in our archives and nothing to explain the earring which accompanied the letter. Er, yeah. Thus, for reasons both official and personal, I would very much like to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'm sure there'll be a chance to speak with Papa. You can get your answers right from the source. I look forward to meeting him. In any case, you're not the only one with an interest in the City of Gold. 
This golden city is a children's bedtime story. I am part of this expedition only because the third promise has commanded that I serve as guide. The third promise? What is that again? Is that like the... I don't know, I forgot. Still playing the part of the stoic servant, I see. What of you? Don't you dare tell me you've changed your mind. Oh. <laughs> we won't make you dawn servant by standing there and talking about it. Hoist sail and let the wind take us as she pleases. <laughs> Hoist the sails. Hoist the sails. Well said, we won't get far wallowing in the shallows. Right then, if all are still committed to the journey, then I say we make ready to depart. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Last patch we saw that, who was all of us? I think it was Astinian and Thancred and was it all the guys that are basically just gonna go there anyways and then we're gonna see them and we're gonna be like, oh hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> I forgot, they were mentioning it in the expansion, or in, sorry, in the expansion, in the patch. Oh my god, Andrew, wait, how far behind are you? You start playing, start playing now. Eager as they are, the others have left, have already left for the harbor. We're not in danger of missing the boarding call. Perhaps we should be on our way as well. I appreciate y'all staying here, even though I'm playing the MSQ. Y'all are so sweet. Mm. Swab the deck, matey. My favorite thing about Lollafells is how they walk. <gasps> With that sun in the background, that sun flare, Savoring the music. Me. I can feel your excitement, your eagerness to explore the unknown. Well, for once, the fate of the world doesn't rest on our shoulders. We might even get a chance to enjoy ourselves. For some reason, my headset went so quick to down in volume. I'm like, what the heck? Though Tural may seem but a short sail away on a map, the vast seas between brim with peril. The treacherous waters of Shade's Triangle alone have claimed countless vessels. Oh, I love their voices. Even following the safe route plotted by Admiral Blufiswin herself, this will be no pleasure cruise. Blufiswin? Is that how you say that? Okay. Blufiswin! Perhaps, but my voyage here was uneventful enough. Disappointingly so. I hope we don't get in a sea. What if Leviathan anyway, comes the and attacks you us? Have first -hand experience. The Kraken! Which will be a great comfort in the days ahead, I'm sure. Aye, it's nothing new to us. All aboard! We're casting off! It's time. I trust I'm sure you the voyage will be fine. I hope so. Do we have everything? I guess so. We're ready. Let's go! Let's go! I wonder if they're gonna show... No, they're probably just gonna skip forward to Tural, right? Did you pack your toothbrush? Oh shoot, I forgot. And so does our ship cast off from the docks. We sail west, as Kattenram did some 80 years past. Oh. Bound for the new world, known oh, to our children he smiled. as the continent of Torar. Oh my gosh, she's just gonna go on. What the I would totally fall off that. Just wait, Papa. When this contest is said and done, it'll be your daughter who sits the throne. Me, Wokla Mat. Aww. Ooh. Ooh. I 
it looks so serious. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, it is a Luffy moment. It is a Luffy moment. <laughs> she needs to be a little bit louder though to be Luffy. She needs to scream a little bit more. He needs like an eye patch or something. <laughs> I'll take my rest while I can. He's reading a Twilight fanfic. <laughs> Stop. Ah. Uh. Oh, look at freaking Kryle's pants. Her whole outfit's so cute. <laughs> Love it. Uh. We left port what seems an age ago now, and we've seen naught but open water ahead. I knew Tural was far, but it's another thing to really know. I wonder how many days it's been, or weeks, or Speaking of which, months. some of our fellow passengers have made this trip before. Several times, in fact. <gasps> Green hair! I was able to learn a few things about Tuliolal and the right of succession. Tuliolal? Lol? Since we still have a long way to go, why not have a chat with them yourself? I'm sure you have questions of your own. Put a pulls out paintbrush. It's time to fight. <laughs> you think there'll be some Did scallywag pirates? Mortars, grandfather. Aw. You think there'll be scallywag pirates that come and attack us? Yarr. I want to see Cryo whip out her paintbrush. I'm gonna paint you into the next dimension. All right, cool. I'm gonna move this also. Uh, right here. Interacting with people. <laughs> Stop, boiler. Um, Fong Jean. Oh, uh, I have a question. Actually, I take it back. Never mind. I don't have a question. Fon Jin Tain. Hmm. Oh, this would be my first visit to Toral. Fon Jin Tain's the name. I was working at Esh Times Aesthetics in Ulda, you see, but my employment with them uh came to an end. Did he get fired? That's why I visited Charlian in the hopes of starting over. While I was attempting and failing to find a new job, I seized the chance to board this vessel when I overheard for another path. When I overheard room for another passenger, it suddenly opened up. I'm told the Dawn Servant welcomes all regardless of origin, and so Tuliolo seemed like the perfect place to begin anew. <sighs> Hopefully things will be better this time. I wonder what happened. Shiro! Thank you for the three month three sub! How you doing? Happy Sunday! You having a good day? How many people do I need to talk to? Not that we have any accurate distances for Heidelin, but for, for it being roughly Earth size, a sail trip from Portugal to Brazil was two months. Uh, we knew two months was also how long we were on the boat from, oh, to Kagane. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's around two months. My bad. I see you in, Aors in Aorzia before, you great and famous hero. Gah, 
I've had enough of playing the simpleton. There was a time when we took great pains to maintain the deception, but with more of you Eorzeans coming to Tural, it's become impractical. Well, he literally just changed how we spoke. Besides, my mercenary days are over. Too many of our war band have fallen, and so we head home to lick our wounds. He looks cool. What is his name? Oh, retired mercenary. My story. Well, since you asked, I want to retrace the historic journey of the great Kitaram. Hinton? Kin Ki Kitaram. You know, the first Aorzean to set foot on Tyrol almost 80 years ago? 80 years ago? The. Oh, was that Kryle's grandfather? The Mamulja's leader is said to have welcomed Kitaram with open arms and sent him home with a bounty of silverware as a token of their friendship. But the real treasure was the crops he brought back. Popatoes, tomatoes, and corn, which spread across Eorzea like wildfire. His grand adventure led to a culinary revolution. The tales say Kitaram returned to Tyrol several times after that, but his ship vanished during his last recorded voyage and he was never heard from again. That even a seasoned explorer like him could meet such an end is testimony to the ocean's peril. Oh, dang. Hmm. Interesting. Self-assured trader. Hello, fellow Lollafell. An adventurer, I presume. I'm a merchant myself, based in Ulda. Spe speciality imports and exports, Eorzean and Tarali both. If this is your first crossing the salt, as they say, do remember that the social moors of Eorzea are not necessarily the same as those over yonder. Consider this, it is not uncommon for the various races to be referred to instead by the names of certain clans. For the Makote, the Petsaro, Throthgar, the Ixbrawl. Not because every member of a given clan is of the same race, mind, but because many individuals of said race are associated with that clan. A fair, a fair assumption in certain cases, but take care not to give offense. Oh, okay. All right, one more person. <sighs> Definitely get offended. Baldasian aren't the lucky ones. Do you mean that are the Ketaram? Is that what you're talking about, Corp? Hi, CSV! I'm gonna level up the new jobs and stuff. Have fun! Did you want to make a wager? We're taking bets on who will be sat next in the Dawn Servant's shiny chair. There are four claimants in the right of succession. You are young Wuklamet, being one of them, of course, but from what but from what a Mamul Mamulja bloke was telling us, the other three are all strong contenders. Not too many keen to risk their coin on the third promise. Okay. I did it. I talked to everybody. Look at the gleaner. Oh my god, look how cute. I want to change my eyes to look like hers. Oh wait, no, I think my eyes are like hers. Just kidding. I'm just not looking up. <laughs> She's so, oh my god, the graphics detail, it looks so good. Alright, where did Cryo go? Oh, she's here. Oh, she's <laughs> hidden behind the pillar. Great. Hi, y'all. Did you learn everything of interest? You can get a free Fantasia later. Oh, I hadn't heard that about the clan names. We should have Wolf Lament and Aaron Bell teach us the ones we should know. Actually, it's getting a little chilly up here on deck. Let's all gather in the cabin. Yeah, I want to know the other contestants. Bet on, bet on yourself. Go in there and take over. <laughs> should we be the new leader? <gasps> it's raining. There's a storm of brewing. Oh, and also there's a tiny quest that gives you a free Fantasia. Look at me We're sitting on my little stool. Storm, it seems. 
<laughs> Kraken? <laughs> oh no. She's seasick. How's your stomach any better? I don't know what you mean. I don't get seasick. <laughs> I'm just feeling a little nauseous is all. <laughs> Isn't that what seasickness is? <laughs> Walk's been oh, walking. <laughs> you born in yes? Do many Vieira live there? The Chetona, as my people are called, Chetona. have settlements mainly in the north, in Shaktural. Jacques, Jacques Tura? Chetona is what the Vera called? Okay. And your family? I know nothing of my father, not even his name. As for my mother... Uh oh. Oh jeez. Dangerous. Ooh. The teeth. Oh dear. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shoot. Come, we should lend what aid we can. Let's help. Um, I got the sails. If I can reach them. I have not seen the ocean rage with such fury before Ugh. or since. Cool. Let's go, let's help. Wow. Whoa. Look at them waves. The heaving waves tossed our ship about like a toy, sending sailors tumbling. The dauntless Alize, quick to the rescue, was almost lost to the sea herself. Oh shoot! Jeez, I was saying. <laughs> uh -huh. Meanwhile, our champion rushed to deploy the vessel's magical defenses and thereby shield us from the lightning. Ooh, a nice little bubble. Perfect. Oh, just in what time. What extraordinary life she must lead to be able to operate such a device with practiced ease. I love, I love that it's him narrating. <laughs> Buklama, too, threw herself into the rescue efforts, though one might have mistaken her for another soul in distress. <laughs> oh no. The sea is her, her weakness. <laughs> By the time the unruly seas had calmed, our strength was all but spent. And <laughs> we had yet to eclipse the shores of Tural. In retrospect, of course, that battle against the storm would prove a fitting prelude to the coming contest for the throne. Really? Why am I all alone? Look at my little shoes. Oh, I think I'm just sleeping. <gasps> Does that mean we're here? Sparkles in the air. 
Oh, wow, it looks so good. Oh my god. Oh, I love how they're doing this cutscene. Are we there yet? What? More water? Do the music. Morning. Joining us for some fresh air? Seems my belly has settled along with the weather, but I'll feel much better once we're on solid ground. Dang it. I thought we were there. Ugh. Can't be much farther now, can it? Seabirds. Land must be near. You need only hold out a while longer. Oh, is that what the birds are supposed to tell us? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Where For there's birds, moment, there's I land. The ocean might swallow us. Glad to have my pessimism proven wrong. In other good news, I examined the sailor who took a fall, and he's faring well. I'm sure he'll make a full recovery. Good news indeed. If all's well, then we needn't delay in launching the landing boat. Ships have to lower anchor some way from shore. Too close, and they risk having their underbellies ripped open by the reefs that crowd Toliolan's coasts. The reefs? Come. The reefs are still alive? Yeah, birds will stay close. Also, I loved your joke. What did you say if his name, his dad's name was, what did you say, Aaron? Instead of Aaronville? Crap, I can't see it in the chat now. Oh, Aaron Mansion. <laughs> and hi, Neo! How are you doing today? <laughs> Aaron Mansion, not in Aaronville. We're going. You did what we were paid to do. Couldn't hardly set you drift halfway. If anything, it should be us thanking you for helping us through that beast of a storm. As a matter of fact, everyone started to fancy your chances in the contest. <laughs> At this rate, we won't be able to lay wagers no more. <laughs> then I better not let you down. Easy stomach. Easy. <laughs> Aww. We're the was that seasickness? If there's oh. nothing left to say, then let's shove off, shall we? Was that seasickness or was that her just being nervous? <laughs> that is what they're called, Madrona. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. I forgot what their name is in uh, Final Fantasy, though. I don't know if that's exactly the name. <gasps> oh! Wow! Look at it. Oh, and this is the boat! But I'm on the boat now. Oh, seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Look, that's me! Enjoying yourself for a change? <laughs> it's just like the intro! But it's with the correct warrior of light! I'm saying. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, look at my friends. Look at that smirk! <laughs> Behold the scene of our next great adventure. Last, we are come to the land you call the New World. To my home. She's to got a little. She's got a little poof. Her little poof is showing. <gasps> Yay! Woo!
I'm so excited. Title drop. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening! Ooh! Ooh! It's so, like, jazzy! Ooh, it's so pretty at night! Oh, I love this! Ooh, what a vibe! Oh no! Oh, look at the acorn. Oh, look at it. It's so Aztec. Look at their boats. Gods, I've seen cities with an impressive mix of cultures, but this is something else. Oh. Is that a... No. I've never seen volume feathers in that color before. They're so colorful. You'll find much here you never knew existed. There may be a sea route now, but visitors to Tulijola are still few and far between. And as we don't build seafaring ships, only a handful of Turali ever venture abroad. Mamulja sells swords mostly. Those willing to play the fool sail with Lomins and merchants to secure employment in Eorsia. I suppose that makes us a rare sight in your country. Rare and currently undocumented. Were there some forms we should fill out or... Oh my god, I love how this is what she's concerned about. <laughs> is Final Fantasy Online still free to play? There is a free trial, yes. But the free trial um, doesn't get you all the way to the new content. Um, good morning, Jeremy! We need to be documented. Forms? Did you forget who you're traveling with? <laughs> I want to go and explore. Is it always supposed to be nighttime in this cutscene, or did I just land here when it's. Whoa. You are outsiders? Visitors to Tural? Wow, look at his mustache. We are. Whiskers. <laughs> Our nation is soon to hold a right of succession to choose its next dawn servant. We will not abide interference from foreign agents seeking to foment trouble. What brings you to Tuli Yolal? Oh my god! Walk, Lume! Come here! I can answer that. These okay. fine people are allies in my succession bid. Third, third promise. If you vouch for them, then all is well, of course. What is third promise? What is that? The armor does look really amazing. Look how shiny it looks. Also, ads are playing, so I'm going to wait until the ads are over. You'll understand later? Okay, it's good that I don't know. <laughs> the sun still rises in Tural, yes. No, I didn't mean that. I meant, like, is it supposed to be nighttime? I'm assuming yes. It's just the opposite in the Southern Hemisphere. It was day when you left Charlian two months ago. <laughs> maybe their title? What do you mean, maybe their title? This is the first time we've heard of it. Okay. Hi, Dakota. Good morning. I'm waiting for the ads to go away until I keep playing. I keep going. Hmm. Third promise. Man, this music is so nice and relaxing. I was not expecting to hear really nice jazzy music. Okay, it's done. Uh, please accept our apologies. 
<laughs> no need to bow and scrape. That our soldiers are so diligent in their duties fills me with pride. Aww, cuties. We'll be continuing our patrol then. Oh, 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 maybe Orca, maybe. Well, well, you really are a figure of authority here. Are you suggesting I don't look the part? <laughs> anyway, first things first. I bid you welcome to Tuli Hyolal. <laughs> How exciting. We made it! It's a new place to run around. What should I see first? Oh, it is nighttime. Um. Ah, when you. Wait, when y'all got here, was it daytime? I think it was really pretty at night, though. Oh no, is there a Mountain Dew at Elementalist? I know, isn't it nice, Lulu? It's jazzy music. Oh wait, let me talk to Aaronville before I do anything. Well, despite the storm's efforts to the contrary, here we are, safe and sound. Complete. We've been... Ah, oh, I love the sound effect. Time, I can't get used to that yet. Oh, you've arrived in Toliola. You can return to the city at any time by speaking with the Swarth. Swarthy Sailor in Scholar's Harbor in Old Charlian. Ah! They kind of do the tour thing, so you can follow the quest so they stop doing that. Okay. Oh. Why the baby? I'm a Lollafell. Oh my god, not this again. Oh no. The nation of Tulio. Oh yeah, a weapon coffer. Oh. Hmm. We are short kings and queens. And in between. Orca, thank you. Nice original comment. Everybody calls us babies and potatoes, Dakota, so I get defensive. I was worried about the music for this expansion after hearing the early trailers, but Soken always delivers. Yeah, he, he's a genius. Always. Hope potatoes. Stop. Stop it. Right then, the first things first. I still a bit queasy. No more boats for a while. <laughs> I realize we've just arrived, but we should get you familiar with the city before the rite of succession begins. My tour. No arguments here. I should very much like to explore. Then I'll guide you. Are you sure you're in any condition to do so? No way. <gasps> who are they? Curious passerby. Aha! We were wondering who these strange folk were, so the third promise has found herself some new followers then. The third promise. Followers. Booklema, are you unwell? No, 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 not at all. Couldn't be better. The third promise does not get seasick, no sir. As for my hand-picked entourage here, I've recruited them to help me win the right of secession. I was about to show them around the city, in fact. That sounds lovely. But a group of foreigners is going to attract attention, especially if they're in the company of the Third Promise. Everyone will be curious. We certainly were. Aaronville, you're up. Your siblings have a tendency to uh, command a respectful distance, but you, you're just so easy to approach. Aww. 
and I enjoy it so much when you do. Please don't ever worry that you're a bother to me. Ugh, I love, I love, I love her character so much. My warrior of light traveling with Alf, Alfie, Alice, and Cryo while I'm traveling with the kids. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I am also looks like a child too. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're very kind. Good day to you, third promise. So she's the third promise? Maybe she, that, maybe that means like third child. They did have a point. Wukluma is technically royalty here. Like it or not, a person of her station surrounded by this many outsiders is bound to draw a crowd. Wait, what do you mean technically? <laughs> I suggest we move in to groups so as to attract less attention. Just technically ignoring me then. Miss you and Kryle can come with me. I'll take the twins then. We'll get in touch once we had a good look around. We we wouldn't be able you know, we're not gonna draw attention. Right? People will probably barely even see me in Kryle. We're so short. <laughs> they <laughs> Is that why we're going with her? That voyage was hard on us, uh, on all of us, so take it slow and recuperate. We have time enough for that. Enjoy your wonderings. Let's go, children. Perhaps we should wait a bit, at least until Wakamas nausea subsides. No need for that. Look, I'm ready to go. Ugh. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. I love it. I'm fine now, really. Can't stand around all day feeling sorry for myself. What with the contest looming and all. Now then, seeing as we're already here, I might as well tell you about the harbor. Aaronville already mentioned the reefs in our coastal waters, which explains why you don't see any big ships moored at the docks. Only vessels with shallow drafts can navigate the bay. Mostly small fishing boats or barges ferrying cargo up and down the rivers from inland settlements. Much of the incoming traffic is from Yokturel, the southern landmass. The clans there produce various goods for export. Their wares are unloaded here and carted off to the merchant stalls of the neighboring in the neighboring markets. Speaking of which, Bayside Bevy should be our next stop. Oh. Okay. Yes. Conversation points. We're gonna be going all of these. As best as I can. What game is this? It's Final Fantasy 14. Hi, Jai! Good morning! These poor people are unaware about the evilness of Lala's. Shut up! Stop! When y'all got here, when you got here, was it daytime in your game or was it nighttime as well? I know, right, Ramza? <laughs> All right. Uh, where do I see the circles again? Are they pretty obvious? Ooh, look at this. Ooh, I'm gonna have to get all the Aether. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, here, 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 here. The piano. Oh, check my map. Oh, check my map. Up a map too. Okay, it's five for me. I just had to watch. Wait, what? No, I'm not talking about in real life. I meant like, what time was it in the game? Was it daytime or nighttime when you all first landed? Cryo, come in here. This is Bayside Bevy. Tuliol is the largest marketplace. Being right on the harbor, everything from fresh fish to imported wares go directly to the shelves. Anything you want, they most likely have. 
Oh, right, I should mention that here in Tuliola, we buy things with Pell, a currency that the Pelu Pelu created. But don't worry, more and more trades is coming in from Eorzea, so most shops are happy to accept your gill. There's also a whatchamacallit, uh, I'm just kidding, whatchamakiki, another market to the east of here, but that can wait for another time. I have other places I want to show you first. Next, we'll head back a bit, then northwards up the stairs to a certain plaza. Hee <laughs> hee, I can't wait to see the look on your faces. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, naked. Okay, okay. Uh, head to the right plaza wall. Okay. So, to the plaza. To the plaza we go. The food looks so good now. Oh my god. Be ready for the joys of Aetherite current hunting all over again. Yeah. Have you turned on the make people disappear thing? No. I haven't done any settings. I also want to do that setting where I don't have to click. Or the thing, the thing. Where you don't have to click and it just goes with their voices. I'm about to be 91 just doing the Endwalker patch quest lines. Are you really crying? Huh? Um, auto advance? I know you have to press spacebar, but d how do you... Anyways, I don't have to. I honestly, I honestly kind of prefer clicking, because sometimes I need to reread it, because I get distracted, so... So that's, that, never mind on that, but I still want to know how. And yes, I do want to know how to do the disappearing people thing. What do you think of that, eh? It's so pretty. Freaking beautiful. Freaking look at that crystal. Look at it. Goodness me, you have Aetherites and Toliol? I think I told you before, but my brother Koana spent three years studying in Charlian. He fell in love with the nation and its ways and brought back to us the knowledge of Aetherite construction. Papa warmed to the idea at once, had one built immediately. Did you do the tuning thing? If you're ready to continue, we'll head down again and then up the slope to the side. Right at the top is the gate, which leads to Zach Tura. Let's make a stop at Bright Blue Bright Plume Post on the way, though. That's the headquarters for the Lands Guard. Let me attune my first attuning. <laughs> you got a lot of options. Okay, there's a confirmation window. Oh, okay, character config. Um, control setting. Scroll to the bottom. Hide nearby players when close to quest NPCs. I guess I check both. A tuning in HD. <laughs> I'm still on 6.4. I wish you could skip all the extra patches fluff and jump straight into an expansion's new MSQ. Can you not do that? Isn't there a story skip option that you can do? But maybe, no? Okay, never mind. Never mind. But you can buy story skip. Okay. You cannot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jai. Okay, let's go here. Let's for the lens god. <gasps> Look how pretty! <laughs> So, <laughs> ah, look at it! <laughs> Ooh, it looks so pretty during the day too, of course. Ooh, what's this? Do we have to go up here? Yep. <laughs> it's beautiful! 
It's beautiful! Wow! <laughs> oh, what's this? What is this? This isn't a circle. Oh, why the music change? Why the music change? Uh, d discuss Tuliola's elevation. We have a lot of narrow, winding streets that crawl up the sides of the mountain. As you can see, though, the builders made sure the city's main thoroughfares were wide enough to accommodate wagons. Oh my god. Oh, this is the daytime music? Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> I literally thought the music changed right when I got... Or, the, it's supposed to change right when you get in the square. I was like, whoa. Oh my god! Oh, I love this. We have a lot of narrow, winding streets that crawl... Oh wait, right up the sides. You can see the builders and main street. Okay. Yes. Oh. Cryo. Trudging up and down all these slopes and stairs is exhausting. I understand now where Wokluma gets her endless endurance. Is there anything else I can talk? Make sure you attune the right. I did. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Look at this area! Look how colorful! Ooh. Look at the architecture. Am I going the right way? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This just puts me in such a good mood. I was already in a good mood, but this makes me even in a even better mood. This is a big city, you're right? Uh Ow. Are we going in there? <laughs> big jazz city. Yeah, big jazzy. Um, did I miss one earlier? I'll have to go back and get them later. The mobile mobile jaw. Uh, here we are, bright plume post. The soldiers stationed here are responsible for defending Tuliolo and preserving the peace. The lands guard are led by our nation's strongest warrior, and so naturally Papa has commanded them since the beginning. Mm. At least until three years ago, when Zoral Zoralja took over as commander, the title is no empty honor. It means the first promise, first promise, is considered equal to the dawn servant in martial strength. First promise is considered equal to the dawn servant. Dang. The first promise. Meanwhile, I haven't even managed to... Well, I'll discuss my brothers and their accomplishments later. Alphano and Alice should be around to hear it too. Come on, it's time I showed you the sky gate. It's right at the northern end of Talon March. My favorite part is when you go to a next 
or a new area, you can just walk around and see what people say. Uh, look at their outfits. Look at this guy's outfit. <laughs> Ooh, latte! I had a matcha latte earlier. I want another one. <laughs> I tried my best, so no! <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Oh god, I was going the wrong way. I got to- <laughs> I got distracted. I thought I was going in the right way. <laughs> I thought it was gonna lead me somewhere. There's a jump puzzle that gives a nice view over the city. I wasted all my time just getting up there and taking screenshots. Oh shoot, is it up there? Is that it? Is that the jump puzzle? Is that it? Oh god. Not the Gugane castle again. I think it was the last time I attempted doing a jump puzzle because oh my god. Oh, it was so maddening. Um, also, did I miss? Nope. Oh, cutscene. Massive, isn't it? And on the other side is an equally massive bridge to match. Both were constructed by a race of giants. The Yokui? Hui? Strictly speaking, Tural is actually two separate continents. Yok Tural, the southern lands of the mother, and Zak Tural, the northern lands of the father. While li which lie beyond the bridge. Oh. Legends say it used to be one great landmass, but long, long ago, the two gods fought a titanic battle, and when one threw the other to the ground, the impact was so devastating as to split the continent in twain. A familiar-sounding tale, I am put in mind of the conflict between Hydaelyn and Zodiark. But getting back to Zaktoral, those lands are also part of the Tuliolo Nation, correct? That's right, it's my father. Isn't it my father incredible? He united the people, the peoples of two continents into a single nation. The many clans of Tural had been at war for generations. It was only when Papa traveled the land to put a stop to their myriad conflict, conflicts that we finally had peace. And that's the main reason I want to win the throne so I can preserve the peace he built. But I see you're more interested in what's behind the gate than hearing about my aspirations. What? Crossing the bridge to Zaktara requires a special travel pass. Unfortunately, they won't issue any new permits until the rite of succession is over. I promise to get you one when I'm Dawn Servant, but until then, you'll just have to wait. Then I'll make sure you win! Mark my words! <laughs> God, it was traumatizing. So was the summer jump puzzle. Wait, does that mean the one here is a lot easier than both of those? You really mean that? Hey, woe to anyone who stands between you and adventure. Yeah. Alright, so that's to Zak Tadal. Ryal. We must have covered half the city by now. Tuliol is unlike any other place I've visited. I'm thoroughly enjoying enjoying myself. Should I should I open these? I can't remember what I did in Endwalker. Did I open these? I did. I only level scholar. What am I thinking? <laughs> Is this better than what I have on? How do I compare again? I 
mean, it's a little better. You can tell the green, the green plus numbers. Right, it only goes up plus four. I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. All right. A city of stairs. <laughs> a city of stairs. We'll head, we'll head west next towards the Ark of the Dawn. The dirigible landing is on the way. You have dirigibles? I said that wrong. Dirigibles too? Talila certainly doesn't want for methods of travel. We get by. Now, if you've seen enough of this area, let me know and we'll continue on. Oh, I've talked to her again. The Ark of Dawn is on the other side of the city, so speak up if you see something that interests you as we walk. They're so hardcore, don't worry. You can, oh wait, plus four is way better in this game. If it's a higher primary stat, just use it. Fine, hi Todd. Zoom in on Eos. It's hard to. Oh. Look at this cutie. Look at this cutie. <laughs> you can see her face now. Oh shoot, you're right. <laughs> she has a nose! <laughs> wow! Noses! The first part of this one has a drop that can be a bit annoying, but it's not as bad as Kugane and it's not as complicated. Okay, okay, that makes me feel better. I'll have to do it then. Can't wait to watch you die in dungeons. Can't wait to watch you die in the dungeons. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But you'll be the tank. And I'm streaming. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I will die. Um, it only took 10 years and now we know she has a nose. I already died in them enough. <laughs> Okay, and you go to the bathroom in a second. I'm still struggling to convince how one could construct an entire city on the side of a mountain. Oops. Stop. Ah! Shoot! After the Yaqui withdrew, the temple stood empty for centuries. So when Papa was establishing, dang it, I didn't mean to skip it. So when Papa was establishing his new nation, he saw a structure he could refurbish into a palace, sitting practically in the center of Tural. He gathered artisans to do the work, and, this, and the houses they built for themselves became the foundation of the city you see today. Speaking of houses, we'll be passing through the resplendent quarter, the biggest residential district in Tuliolo. We climb these sets of stairs here all the way up. You know what? It's so good. It makes me so happy. Puts me in such a good mood. But on top of that, these smell so good. And I know that's so random, but I got flowers yesterday. They smell so good. So my room not only smells Great. I feel like it would smell like Tuliolo. It's how my room smells. I feel like these lilies is like how this would smell. <laughs> it smells great. <laughs> smells music. It's so wonderful. Okay, wait, do I have to go up these stairs now? Okay. So Vic was screaming at the 97 dungeon. Y'all are already on, y'all are already level 97. What's the best way for someone like me to experience the dungeon? Should I just go on a duty? Should I just pop a duty? So then there's a chance that maybe people haven't done it. Where am I going? Oh, am I going up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Discuss the palace. 
Oh, yes, I guess that's cool too. Uh, Papa's palace is called Volok Sunsa, which roughly translates to invincible resilience. You probably want to take a closer look, but we'll be coming back here later. Let's move on for now. Okay. Ah. The stairs leading up to the peak can get pretty steep. Careful you don't fall. I've been one step away from death more than a few times. The sheer scale of this place is incredible. I wonder what that crate or what that carving at the top represents. Oh. Okay. I guess we go back down now. <gasps> Stairs. I love the smell of music in the morning. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I meant? Sound smells full immersion. So that's what I'm talking about. Yes. You're already level 100. You're going to run into a lot of people that haven't done it, I would say. So I should do a duty. Big duty. That's where the jump puzzle is. Oh. Hi, Tin. Stairs on the short, stairs on short little, like, yeah, I'm like running extra. Let me go down here. I move an extra time. Extra steps. Oh! What? What is that? Hee <laughs> hee That's so cute. Ooh, Aether. Net shard. Ooh, what is this? Is this their farming? Oh, are these little kids? Oh, look, they're drawing. Oh! So this is a resplendent quarter. What manner of people live here? Who is that? Ten! Thank you so much for five gifted subs! Thank you! That was so kind of you! Thank you! Happy Dawn Trail Day too. Welcome everybody! I hope you like your new emotes and as reviewing. We have some Final Fantasy XIV emotes. If you would like to use them. Um, I mean, if she wants me to help at any point... Oh, you're talking... Oh, yes. I would probably need help later, but not right now. I'm sure I'm not the only one that can help her, too. Oh, well, yeah. I'll be fine. I honestly just really want to experience the dungeons with a group of people that haven't done it yet. But, uh, it's a hit or miss, so we'll see. What manner of people live here? Oh, we have residents from all the Yoktural clans. Mamuja, Exbral, Pelu Pelu, Mop. Moblin, Hanu Hanu. We have, we also have Tono Wakta. Hesosaro, Shitona, who moved south from their ancestral lands in Zok Tural. In essence, it's a gathering of people from every corner of Tural. A true representation of Tulio's diverse character. The adornments on each building can contribute to the eclectic cultural aesthetic. It's all so beautiful. I'm glad you think so. Come, we continue down the stairs. Down the stairs. What are you growing? Is that a tomato? Yes. Their tomatoes are growing more than my tomatoes. <laughs> what do you do to them? Teach me. What is this? This is pretty. Are you washing? You washing your tomatoes and your popotos? Wait, what is he saying? That's some good produce. Wash me. Okay. All right, where is the stairs? Down here? Do I need to go here first? I think we need to go there first. Wait, did I already go here? This is the stairs. 
Every dungeon had a mechanic that I was like, what just happened? Great. That's me every single time as well. The only problem is I'm busy healing everybody so I can never like pay attention to like a big old green letter popping up right in front of me. Like I have healing blindness. I only, I don't, well, I have mechanic blindness. I only heal, <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I can't pay attention very well to what's going on, especially if there's something giant, big, and colorful that pops up that it's like, <laughs> makes it obvious. I'm like, I didn't see it. That big drum there is called the Dawn Herald. Oh, that? Uh, they play it for formal occasions, like when honoring the Landsguard return from a dangerous duty. I tried hitting it with my axe once and ripped and ripped the skin. Earned me a proper scolding, let me tell you. I think that was the time Papa held me upside down by the ankle. Oh, goodness. I've never seen such an enormous drum. What could, what would one even use to beat such an instrument? You might hear the Hyur and Tural referred to as Tona Wakta. Wata. Tona Wata? One of our major clans. As for Aaron Bell, he belongs to a Vera clan known as the Shitona. Tona Wakam. Wait, can I talk to. One only need to look to. Wait. One need only look to the children playing for a sense of how peaceful things must be here. Yeah. This way? <gasps> ah! Little alpacas! Look at the little alpacas! Is that one sleeping? Alpaca! Look how cute! Alpaca. Look how cute they are. I know there's a mount. Wait. I did that, right? Okay, yeah. Do they, are they not supposed to go away? Am I supposed to keep asking questions? Or do they just say the same thing? Water. Wata. <laughs> no, just keep going. Love the music. Is it part of the game? This is part of the game. This is the daytime music in Toliolo. <laughs> so good, isn't it? So jazzy. And here are our dirigibles. Not bad, eh? Where? Oh. Oh, they're like hot air balloons. Ah. I hear other nations use airships to sail the skies, but you... You'll only find balloons in Tuliolo. I've always wanted to go hot air ballooning. We have them for the exact same reason as the Aetherites. Koana brought back the plans from Charlian and Papa thought them fantastic and commissioned their construction. This was around three years ago. Since that time, we've added flights to other settlements. Trade with frontier communities has never been easier. But that's enough about dirigibles. The Ark of Dawn waits. Oh boy. Where? Who? The Ark of the what? Oh wait, I'm gonna go get this this one first. Zoom. Oh shoot. I knew I was forgetting to do something yesterday. I wanted to look at all the scholars skills. I didn't have a good look at them. But I guess it doesn't matter. Or does it doesn't matter. It does matter. How do I open up my skills? I forgot. Scholar eating for real. Eating well? Or are we starved? I'm just kidding. I know some of the, I know this. No, not that. Wait, how do I see? Or no, this is it. No, it's not. Yet. Yeah. Wait. Oh yeah, this is new. 
Oh, you have to do, oh, you have to be a level 100? Until I can turn into an angel? Wait, I only get two, I only get two? Tom Tom! Thanks for the 77 months, hey! How you doing? Can you give me the website again, Effin? Oh. Oh. You can either have both actions on one button and it just transforms. Yeah, that's what I would prefer. Or wait. I think. Sorry, one second, chat. Okay, so this one changed, 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 changed. I read those, this, new, new, what level? What level? Oh, 92, 90, okay, so I won't get this one until 92. And I, okay. But most of these, I don't have to add. But I would have to add this one. Wait, how many do I have to add? I think it's set to do that automatically. So just note in this window which ones are combined. How do you know which ones are, oh, and this is, oh, here, which one is combined. So these two are combined. So I'm gonna have to add Baneful, Impaction, Concitation, and Seraphism. Where? 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 Do you see this? Oh, I could probably get rid of some of these. I don't need this. I can, I can move this. I don't want to. Uh. below the skill, like Seraph has it. What? She has what? What? Oh. Oh, these are updated. Baneful impaction is all, oh, I see the little, oh, I see it. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. So then, so then I only need to add seraphism and concitation. What is concitation? Restores own HP and HP of all party members. Is it better than Sucker? It is better. I, so I just replace Sucker for Concitation maybe? Hi Vic! No? Why? Why? I'm trying to see the difference. Oh, it cat. Okay, well, the cast and the recast are basically the same. The MP cost the same. Keeps. But it's the same thing. You're gonna need sucker. But what if trust? Is this? J oh, is consultation just? I'm talking about this skill. Is this just the upgraded? It has the same icon. Oh, it transforms when I hit level 96. It becomes concitation. It's called constipation. 
So keep it. Oh! Sorry, when I said I was gonna get rid of Sucker, I literally thought I would just take it off my bar and add Constitation. But... <laughs> See it. Okay, now you don't have to. <laughs> it will switch by itself. Oh, okay. Then what are y'all saying? It's that's what I mean. I, I that's what I was meaning. Getting rid of sucker. It's not gonna be called sucker anymore. It's gonna be called constipation. So I just have to add seraphism. Okay, that's fine. I'll add it here. I never put. I I already put you guys to sleep just by talking. Um. Okay. Cool. All right, did I, did I do this? Shoot, did I do it? I did. Okay, uh, let's go. <laughs> I heard, I heard you enjoyed the 97 Dungeon Vic. <laughs> Todd said you screamed. <laughs> that makes me nervous <laughs> for when I have to do it. Oh God. Bless my soul. Her words, not mine. What do you mean? Mine? Oh, you mean Vic's Audibly yelling. <laughs> <coughs> How's our guild doing? Are we good? Wow, there's people online. Ooh. Look at this. This is it, the Ark of the Dawn. When the giants were still here, it was known, it was known as the Yoktural Land Gate. But when Papa found Atulial, everyone began using its present name in honor of his great achievement. Through this gate is Kolzomakuka, Uka, the wetlands south of the city. Depending on what the Rite of Succession asks of us, we might end up going in that direction. Koza Mauka, the name alone is intriguing. Speaking of which, what were those fluffy animals we passed earlier? T. Ah, those are alpacas! Fearsome four-legged fiends! <laughs> Fearsome? They seem quite placid to me. They spit in you, in your face, Cryo. You'll learn soon enough, Cryo. You'll learn soon enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> but forget the alpacas. I have something far more important to show you. Come along. Good luck pronouncing things. Thank you. I'll try my best. Wow, we are online. <laughs> Okay, this way. Oh, now we got the nighttime jazzy music. If you wish to learn the history of Tuliol, then look no further. These stone pillars, you mean? The city of stairs. We finished. A saga in stone. What is special about these pillars, if I may ask? At a glance, they might look like ordinary stone de decorations, but if you take a really good look, you'll see there's something much more interesting. Ah, the Mayan calendar. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I guess it's only this, this. I'll do this first. I know I love her character too. Look, Lamont is so cute. Lamont. The following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty. Okay. Start. What 
at this one. This one's gone. Pictures? Wait, no, these are glyphs. They seem to tell a, st a series of stories, many of them featuring a two-headed mamulja. Oh, then this must be... That's right, it follows the exploits of my father, Guljaja, and his journey to unite our lands. We call it the Tuyo Saga. The deeds he performed and the bonds he forged, all immortalized in stone. Ja -ja. <laughs> There's no better way to learn how Tulul came to be. Study them as long as you like. Where do we where do we start? Do you start here? Oh. Which one do I s do first? Maybe a lay of repast. This one accounts the lay of repast. As you can probably tell, the figure depicted here is of the exal-ex-brawl ex like me. So exbrawl are Hrothgar, right? Okay. So this is a Hrothgar. Okay. For decades, exal-brawl, ex and the Mamulja were at war for control of the forest of Yakhtil. The actions Papa took to end that conflict have been, have since been hailed as the first steps in the founding of Tuliolo. There is a clan of Hrothgar in Baja known as Helions. In this, in their society, the women's, the women rule as queens and the men serve as devoted subjects. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Uh, yet yeah, here in Tyrol, Xalra, men and women appear to be of equal status. How dramatically cultural can vary with location. Kind of like the Vera, how it's all girls, I guess, maybe. Hmm. Um. Okay, that's done. Nice. All right, next, lay of pots. Uh, let's see, this one is the lay of pots, which depicts the moblins of Kazumoka. They might wear odd masks and sound weirdly muffled when they talk, but the gold and silver work they sell is the best you'll find anywhere. Moblin goods are the standard when it comes to gift giving. Clearly the Vanu aren't the only people with distant Turali counterparts. So, the Moblins are from here? <laughs> Vic. <laughs> it always puts me in a good mood when you, when you actually laugh at my jokes. Um, here there is the War of Light dating the boss's daughter. What? That's how it should be, women in charge. That's right, Boiler! <laughs> what? Hi, Silly Lily. All right, Lay of the Brotherhood. All right, what is this one? The This pillar tells the Lay of the Brotherhood. It depicts the scene where Papa granted an audience to the foreign explorer Ket something. Oh, Ket... I just learned it. Anyways, I can never remember the name. Yeah, Ket... 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 Ah, that's the one. Ketaram's arrival in Tural is what prompted Papa to embark on his own journey. It said the two grew to be close friends, brothers in spirit, if not in blood, but no one knows what became of the explorer in later years. They said his ship vanished. Just call him Jim. <laughs> How about Kin? Uh, Kintin Ram's disappearance is a mystery in Eorzea as well. The records say he traveled between our lands and yours for a while, but then it's assumed he was lost at sea. I should have given everyone a nickname. <laughs> Here we have the Lay of Reeds. This is the story of when Papa visited the Hanu Hanu in their village in Kazama Uga. Hanu Hanu? Ah, the people Alphano 
almost mistook for Vanu Vanu. Not to get mistaken for the Hanu Hanu. Psh. If not for the colorful plumage. <laughs> At least they kept kind of similar names. Um, he spent a fair bit of time among the Vanu in the Sea of Clouds, so it's no surprise he took an interest in your countrymen. I don't know how it is with your Vanu, but our Hanu are a bright and color, bright and cheerful sort. They hold this one festival every year. Very famous and a lot of fun. Cute. If you're done with the first half, we can move on to the second. Oh, okay. I butchered every name. Um, I mean, I'm doing that. What if I what if I click her? What happens if I click her? Does something happen? Also, I need to go take another bathroom break. I'm drinking too much water. It's usually what I do. Asinian was Einstein for years to me. <laughs> hey, that one's really close, so that's okay. <laughs> Who is the one that I always mispronounce because I can Oh, oh, uh uh um uh Who was it? I definitely never got Urian J right. It took me a while to get his. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. You have the option to end if you just click her. Okay, so don't do it. Uh, the lay of proof that big fellow is of the Yaqui, the largest of Tural's people. You know, I had a friend named Hui, H-U-Y, and I'm assuming that's how you s pronounce it. It was Hui, Hui, Hui. These giants once used their great size and strength to establish a dominion encompassing all of Yachtural. Having brought the southern reaches to heel, they then turned northwards, setting their sights on Zakhtural. You'll recall that massive bridge they built beyond the Sky Gate. Sometime after launching their northern campaign, however, they just gave up. They abandoned the lands they'd conquered and withdrew into the mountains of Urquilpot? Ur Urko Pacha? I've never even seen any of their kind so much as set foot in the city. This was a people with power and resourcefulness to raise a temple on a mountaintop and build a bridge across the sea with stone. What would move them to renounce their ambitions and their place in Trolley history? Yeah, that sounds interesting. Sus. It sounds sus. They're gonna come back, aren't they? Ah, uh, yeah, Boiler. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. I'll be slow, too. I ha I like to read every little thing and do every little quest. I don't like doing side quests, but I'm right there with you on all the reading. I saw a tweet that there's apparently a title that can be a spoiler. It might be good to turn off titles for now. Oh, really? How do you turn off titles? I'll do it. Uh-oh. Oh, this one is unmarked. Papa says he left a blank pillar for the next chapter of Tuliola's history, whatever that may be. <gasps> That'll be you. You will be the one that will be there. Ooh, lay of gold. The lay of gold. This pillar shows one of the Pelu Pelu, whose homeland is the Urquo Pacha. Is that like the bird looking people? With the... Having created our currency, the Pelu are rightfully known as the Merchant Clan. They oversee Tuliolo's markets and their traveling peddlers are a common sight no matter where you go in Tural. Don't let their size fool you. They might be mistaken as children, but beneath those beaked masks, they are clever and calculating traders. Ah, uh, yeah, that is them. Uh, okay, thanks, Rhea. I'll do that in a second. Lay of Ice. Uh, oh, this one is my favorite, the Lay of Ice. It depicts a battle with the legendary Tural Vidral. Tural Vidral. Valagarmanda. I should explain. A Tural Vidral is... <laughs> that sounds fun saying. A Tural Vidral is a creature that has lived far beyond its usual lifespan and awakened to pre preternatu preternatural power. Uh, Tataro described the Far Eastern auspices in a similar fashion. Could this be the same phenomenon? 
Valid Garmanda itself was dubbed the Sky Ruin, a name earned for the destruction and terror it visited upon Toral every time it stirred from its slumber. But 80 years or so ago, its ruinous reign was brought to an end. After a great struggle, Papa and his comrades managed to overcome the raging Vidral and sealed it away in the Urkul Pacha Mountains. Despite its reputation, however, Valagar Manda is also a symbol of power. That's why you'll see its likeness in Tulio's nation emblem and adorning the banners at the palace. Oh, so that's what that was made out of. Cool. Had your fill of history then? Yes, thank you. Thank you kindly. Glad to hear it. You know, I feel awfully hungry all of a sudden. Oh, food. No surprises there seeing I couldn't get anything down for a while, but now I think I'm ready to eat again. So let's go and have ourselves a bite of a local delicacy. Come, I'll take you to the best restaurant in the city. I like the sound of that. Oh, we're going to see what the food looks like. We Are we on Primal or what? Yes, I'm on Primal. Why? Yes. I've always been on Primal. Since the beginning. Alright, character config. Uh, display name settings. Hide people's titles. Hide. Okay, alright. Titles are now hidden. Just in case of spoilers. Gooj asking for a friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Amski! Thanks for the 27 months. Happy Dawn Trail Day to you, too. Ooh. Hey, look. Oh, I need a, I need a save. Uh, I also need this one, too. Hold on, let me go back and get the other one. Is this the restaurant? Yep. All right, hold on. Hold that thought. I'm gonna go over here real quick. No spoilers from me, promise. I believe you. Apparently there's like a title that could spoil, so that's why Rhea was telling me to get titles, get rid of titles. Alright, did I get all of them? I think the only one I haven't gotten is the whatchamacallit. <laughs> I think I've gotten one, two. Oh, and this one, I think. I can't remember if I got that one. Alright, let's see what the food looks like. Whee! How long is this now? Did this change? Didn't expedient change? It's like longer? Oh, maybe not. All right, here we go. Here's the restaurant. <clears throat> Have you ever had tacos? They're a total classic. You bake a crunchy shell made from corn flour and fill it with meat and salad. A lot of shops and stalls sell them, but I like how they are made here at Best. Okay. Uh, and I need one right in front of me right now. Let's head downstairs and place an order with old Brokuru. Brokuru. I love how they added top. Do you think? No. I mean, tacos make sense, but you think the big fat taco meme is what encouraged them to add tacos? Oh, I only hid my own title. Oh, <laughs> wait, I didn't hit. Title display settings, hi. Oh, it did say my own. Wait, uh, oh, others. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, why? Okay, uh, title. <laughs> oh, it's party. Ali oh, alliance, hide, other player characters, hide, <laughs> friends, I'll hide them too, okay, there we go, 
All right, now we're good. <laughs> Oops. They have to give us an eat taco emote, right? Oh, I hope. Ooh, tacos. Look at the restaurant. Oh, look, they're serving. Mmm. Ooh, ooh, salsa and chips. Ooh, this looks great. What is that drink? Oh my god, Lemon has to make all the new food. Ooh, look at the kebabs. What are you eating? Oh, tacos. Okay, all right. My turn. Are they gonna show the animation of eating? You had tacos yesterday. Oh, I didn't hear how she pronounced that. Oops. My companions must sample your heavenly tacos. One for each of us, please. Right away, promise. And I'll pack them tight with my choicest feelings. Only the best for you and your friends. Ah, that's nice. Did you hear the silver scares are back? Seems their overseas foray ended in disaster. More than half their warband is missing, including their leader. Uh oh. Who's silver scales? I... And now keen to rebuild their broken reputations, the survivors seek the Golden City. <laughs> A fool's errand. Ooh. How many hopefuls have disappeared in search of that fable? They should count their lucky stars they came home alive at all. The legend of the Golden City is well known here, I take it. It is. But, as no one's ever seen it, many question if there is any truth to the tale. Like our skeptical Erinville. It's like real life. The city of gold. I'm eating chips and tomatilla salsa right now. Oh my god. I'm jealous. I want some, Lulu. This is gonna make me I hungry. I can't imagine the Dawn Servant would request a formal survey for a place that doesn't exist. Yeah. Or maybe, I uh... Odd. The drama. But what about tacos? Now to find a spot with oh. a pleasant view to enjoy our crunchy spoils. Oh, tacos to go! Oh. Ah! Not my tacos! How dare you? Oh, they're tall. Oh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> if it isn't the third promise. My eyes are over here, buddy. Oh. No. <laughs> Aw. My tacos. I don't know these ones. <sighs> New soil. <laughs> I love the music. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dredge from foreign waters is my guess, brother. Interesting. Of course, that's it. Wuklamat is so afraid of the coming contest oh, is that this... she went crying for special help. <laughs> oh, is this the brother? Was there something you wanted, Bakul Jaja? Bakul Jaja! Wait, what the was her father's name again? This remembers us. Such an honor. Wait, remembers us? Okay, maybe I don't do. Oh, the mighty. Glory on your name, brother. The mystic. The mighty and the mystic. <laughs> and on yours, brother. So wait. Oh, okay. I know my rivals for the throne. Nothing more. Uh, 
another child of the Dawn Servant? So it's their half brother, I guess. I don't understand. No, this brute. <laughs> we have no ties to that farce of a family. Oh. Unlike the sneveling house cut, we are blessed siblings, the Oliver Chosen. We alone are fit to succeed Golul Jaja oh, Galul. as Dawn Servant. Galul Jaja! And then we got Bakul Jaja. Bless siblings. Huh. All peoples are equal in Tuli Hyola. Your heritage gives you no greater claim to the throne. Ha! <laughs> Shall we test that idea here and now? See if your strength is equal to ours. Yeah, let's fight him. <sighs> They're pretty tall. None of this has any bearing on the right of succession, correct? Best not waste your energies on pointless scuffles. Yeah, Cryo. Oh, look, toes! Do you see the toes? <laughs> the kitten comes to the house cat's defense. I think my webcam was in the way. <laughs> Since when was our nation overrun by mewling weaklings? Wow. Listen to me, you. <laughs> Carl was like, don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna paint them a new attitude soon. What is that guy wearing? <laughs> a two headed Mamulja. I knew of them, but that's the first I've seen in the flesh. Some get it into their twin heads that they're destined to follow in my father's footsteps. So they travel to distant lands to hone their battlecraft. Those are likely the ones you've heard about. Interesting. Are there other two-headed claimants? No. Just Bakul Jaja. Even in Tural, his kind are far from common. Hmm. The Mamulja people largely belong to one of three clans. The Hubigo. Hubigo? There's a taco! Look at it! The Bunewa. Bunewa. I'm not gonna remember this. Anidopro. Oh, that's the thing that that guy was wearing. Ah, interesting. So there's three clans. Every once in a great while, a two-headed offspring is born from a union between the brown-scaled Ubiko and the blue-scaled Bunewa. The child grows to possess immense strength. Both physical and magical. So when a Hubigo and a Bunewa have a child, it creates a two-headed offspring? Like, no matter what? Interesting. Blessed siblings indeed. Forget them. Let's go and buy more tacos. I can think of nothing better to rid me of this bad taste in my mouth. Enjoying your tour of the city, I trust. We've seen our share of notable sights and took a moment to rest. As such, we're ready to present ourselves at the palace for the right of succession. Shall we meet you there? We didn't eat our tacos. The palace it is. I'll let Wuplamart know. Destiny calls. Perhaps we can return for more tacos later? I love how she says tacos. Ah, <sighs> so it goes. <sighs> Sigh. I know! Oh my god, Ninja Turtle! Taco Bell sponsor would be perfect. Zach, I want big fat tacos too. It makes me hungry. I have enough trouble arguing with myself with just one head. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> right, Lulu. <laughs> Good life advice. <laughs> I was looking forward to trying some authentic Tuliola cuisine, but we should hurry and join Alphano and the others at the palace. 
All right, it's a bit of a climb to the top, but you can head up from the resplendent quarter or even the eastern side of Talon March if you prefer. Now that you have an idea of how the city's laid out, I'll let you find your own way to Vol... Vol... Volok Shunsa. Oh, my poor empty belly. Ah. Dang it, I didn't get that one. All right, I'll go this way. The resplendent quota. Up the stairs we go. Baku Jaja. He's not very nice. If he becomes a ruler, that's just gonna spell disaster. Because he seems like he lets power go to his head. Yeah, no way. No way will that be good. Wow. The corn! I want this minion. <laughs> okay, let me save here first before I go in. Also, I want to get my mushroom and put it under my desk. Time to go in. That is just so fun. There's some big old doors. <gasps> We're finally gonna meet the the legend himself. What was his name again? Jaja. I keep forgetting. I know the jazz music's so nice, isn't it? This way. Aha! Uh -huh. Here is everyone. Oh, I guess he's beyond those doors. There's a side quest involving the corn here. It should be available soon, age. Should I do it? Is that how you get the minion? You made it, good. Then you're all here. I'm still hungry enough to eat a whole roasted col colibri, but the contest won't wait for us forever. Uh, if I put this on, oh, interesting. Um, uh, oh shoot, I forgot how to open up my armor or my thing. Why do I always forget? I literally opened it up on Tuesday, last Tuesday. Why did I forget? How do I? Glamour again. This is how. What was the thing that I was just wearing? Oh, this. There we go. Okay. All good. All right, Aaronville. Upon speaking of Aaronville, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside specific, sufficient time to view these scenes in the entirety. Here we go. Let us begin. I've acquainted the twins with the city as best as I could in a short time. Their unbridled enthusiasm made it rather difficult. Unvariably, something would catch their eye, spurring them to run down an alley to investigate. Twas like hurting a pair of unruly corals. <laughs> That's cute. Ready for movie time. Yeah. 
There's, oh, if it's tied to the mini, but surely, right? Yeah, surely, right? Heh, I understand all too well. Charlene had the same effect on me. All right, then, now it's time we saw the inside of the palace. Papa will want to know I'm home and to meet the allies I've chosen. Boy, did he choose, did she choose the best allies, chat. Given how impulsive he is, though, there's no telling what he might be in for. Does she not have a limit to how many allies that she can have? You would think that they would have a limit, otherwise it's like forming a giant army, right? Here we go! What's that sound? Oh, they're sparring. Who is that? Is that a Sinian? No. Surely. Oh my god, it is! What is he doing? Bro! No! A Sinian! What is he doing? A Sinian? When did he get here? Right? When did he get here? Mock the fight for why is he here? Oh, Sinian! Oh, you know this man? Whenever my father spots a promising opponent, he invites them to Sun Perch to duel. Pressing duties or no, he can't resist a good fight. Really? So the one Estinian is crossing blades with. Why is one of his heads covered, I wonder? Whoa! Let's get her a little. I will do, Spearman. I will receive my darling daughter. Vow of resolve, Galul Jaja. That's him. My darling daughter. Sweet. Estinian looks so good. Oh, HD Estinian. No, that you are the strongest I fought in many a moon. Yeah, he it's is. Longer. It is the privilege of a lifelong lived to face such a formidable soul. <laughs> if it's formidable you want, then look no further than that woman there. Oh, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh. I see you, warrior. He doesn't judge. That's good. We had no idea you meant to visit Taral. Right? I've seen what lies east. This time I chose west. <laughs> and thus did our itinerant dragoon make his travel plans. You witnessed our bout. If you thought he was fearsome, that was with one head dozing. I'm not sure I understand. The old man has been feeling his ears. The uncovered side is the head of resolve, and age has only deepened his love for combat. The head of resolve. Okay. What about yeah? The head of reason. Reason to, sleeps more and more these days. As I understand it, the veil helps with the restoration of his magical energies. Oh, that's why they have this purple thing. The wiser of the two, but he's asleep right now. <laughs> Interesting. Lamati. I want to hear of your adventures. Lamati. A term of endearment. It's what my family calls me. That's so cute. Lamati. I like that. Oh no, Andrew. 
<laughs> what a mood my tuned brain sells. <laughs> Constantly asleep. Oh. When last did we see you in the palace? A great insult on Ash. It's Erinville now, don't serve it. Whoa, what was that? Elinish? I took the name while abroad, and have since grown accustomed to it. Ah. Uh... Hmm. There I feel that. Interesting. And these Elinish? others? I assume our Lamatees recruited allies. Ha! All tempered steel. Yet as much as I'd enjoy testing their metal, the hour of the right is at hand. I will summon the other claimants at once. Then I shall leave you to it. Good fortune, my friend. No, it's an end, don't leave us. Not this guy again. The rational one, never awake. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Good afternoon. Ooh, here we go. Oh, look at everybody. Oh! Who's that? Okay, so there's only four. The Claymans are assembled. So these are all the his first children? Promise. Zorolja. Oh, the first promise. Zorolja. Okay, this is the first time seeing this guy. Okay, the first promise is Zorolja. The second promise, Kona. Oh, this is Koana. A Makote? They're the second promise. Okay. Third the promise. Third promise. Got it. Uklamat. Got it. In the fourth one. Lastly, the oh. chosen of Mamuk, Bakun Chacha. The chosen of Mamuk. Who the heck? Okay, so he's not a sim. Okay, right. That's what he said. Chosen of the Mamu. four will compete in the right of succession. The outcome of which will decide who takes my place as Dawn Serpent. I am not the man I once was. My wiser half sleeps the days away. And it is time I yield my position. But mine is a torch that has never been passed. Tuliola is young. And so I look to the always for inspiration. Wouldn't he be worried that this guy would win, though? The right of succession. The means by which the Otrok no of choice. Mamuk was chosen. Atra and Mamuk. Only the two headed were deemed fit for this contest. But the Tuliola I built is a nation of many peoples. Our leader needn't have two heads, nor be a Mamuncha at all. Ah. <sighs> so I gave the right of claimant not only to the son I sired, but to my adopted children as well. I wonder who the adopted children are. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so the first one is his actual child. Thanks for telling me. I'll play your alert in a second. Not trying. Yet the opportunity to rule was still not equal. That is why a recent tournament offered a place in the contest as the winning prize. <laughs> Spit! Now you have us to 
compete against. Ah, oh, though it seems the one head was already too afraid to face us in the tournament. <laughs> Our brother was in shock to Rol leading the Lands Guard on a campaign to eradicate a Turol Vidral. Can you imagine having only one head? <laughs> what what <did> I <laughs> What the heck? Ah. Uh. Anyone with sense would know he was too busy for games. Yeah, that's right, Koana. You tell him. You tell his two face. <laughs> Now, for the part you've been waiting to hear. The nature of the contest itself. Yeah, what are they gonna do? To Here triumph in the right of succession, and thereby claim our nation's throne, you must travel the lands of Yocturol. Okay. And find the city of gold. Eh? Oh, that's why the silver... What? What? <laughs> They're this all like... Me, father. This is an impossible Speed task, Rona. isn't it? The Golden City is an ancient Turali legend. But after so many failed attempts to find it, the story has become more fairy tale than fact. Right. If you would charge us with such a quest, are we then to assume you have proof of the city's existence. But maybe the city of gold is just like the friends we made along the way kind of thing, you know? <laughs> Are you for us proof, my unbroken word? For I have seen it with my own four eyes. Oh, just kidding. Maybe it is real then? Or maybe he's being... The city's real? All those years? Nah. I think it really is the friends we made along the way kind of deal. The founding of Maybe. I travel the lands of Maybe not. with my companions. And we ended our journey at the gates to the Golden City. Huh. Okay, never mind. Maybe. If he knew where I it was, why didn't he go back? The same. But in order to achieve victory proper, you need to break the seal I put in place. The seal? Oh. What? Bring them. The seal. Okay. What is he bringing us? Cool. We're gonna go to the city of gold. That would be like MSL Shalitas on like it's an actual lost treasure. Right? Right, cat? Doesn't it feel that way? It's like the lost city of gold ne not necessarily is actually like a place, but a, a, like a, a combination of all these things that would make Tuliolo the city of gold. Maybe. I don't know. I'm overthinking. Classic. What is this? Wait. What? They took the, the statues apart? Or the engraving? They took them off? What? The saga. So this is the seal that will be broken? You we need will this? retrace the path I walked to oh. unite peoples, step by step. Along the way, seven chosen electors will be waiting to measure your worth. <gasps> cool! Oh, so we have to... Ooh, wait, this is cool. So this is how, oh, that makes so much sense. And that's how he can make sure that like this guy is kind of reined in, right? Because he needs the people to, to, or I guess the chosen electors to measure the worth. Interesting. They all each have their own task. Wait, this is cool. The feet they ask of you. Keystones. Okay, the feats. Interesting. I wonder what we'll have to do. Once you've fitted each of the seven tablets with the keystone, you'll have the key to unlock the seal on the Golden City's gates. 
Ah. So everybody's gonna get their own keystone? Okay, so you have to collect them all to open the gates, okay? Cool. So the contest is in stages, none of which can be skipped by rushing to the ultimate objective. Exactly. That's exactly. so smart. Exciting, isn't I'm it? I'm guessing he, this head's the one who came up with it. I'm just kidding. Rush tournaments, <laughs> hunting festivals, and now this? You do so love your contests, Papa. Ooh, are we gonna have to solve riddles? The City of Gold is a heavenly realm where no one is subjected to hunting ether currents ever again and we're happy in a free-flying utopia. <laughs> Rhea? <laughs> yes. Were I a few years younger, With our I would have joined in myself, giving you a proper challenge. Oh. You may think the ride is tedious or nonsensical, or both. I am yielding our nation's power. Yeah, man. Treat it with respect. It must be a really challenging challenge to do. Otherwise, none of these people are Let me worthy. This final indulgence. I love this idea. I love it. A waste of time. Just name Bakunja just a sesser and be done with it. No. Yeah, get angry. He's being the so disrespectful. The sensation begins now. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. I love how they're setting up Dawn Trail. This sounds fun. And Clements, remember to collect your tablets before you leave. Wait, how many tablets are there? Did they, did they each get one? Oh, these are smaller. So no, no way are they the actual engravings. Yeah, no way. <laughs> Cryo's like, I'll get it. Oh, or not. Oh, she's gonna talk to him. Look at her little paintbrush. You are one of Lamachi's allies. Let's speak freely. Got it. That makes sense. Oh. I am Cryo Baldessian, representative of the students of Baldessian. My name is perhaps familiar to you? <gasps> she's asking about her grandfather. Ah. Uh. Oh. It would seem you sent this letter to my order some years ago. The ink has since faded and much of the writing is illegible. Even so, we managed to determine the essence of it. A request to investigate the Golden City. Addressed to my grandfather, Galuf. Included with the correspondence was this earring. A fairy tale and a piece of jewelry were enough to convince my grandfather to sail halfway across the world. So there is surely some greater mystery at work here. Oh, I love this. Hi, John! One second, one second. On behalf of the students, I've come to seek clarification on the matter. Have you any knowledge you might share with me? Oh my god, the moment of truth for her. Oh no. Why is there sad music playing? Uh-oh. No, not at this time. What? I have tasked the claimants with finding the Golden City. To fulfill your request would afford one of them an unfair advantage in the right of succession. Ah, interesting. It would give Watlamat unfair advantage to know more about her grandfather? Or maybe just the request in general? Oh, Kryle's face! But once the contest is decided, I plan to entrust the entire truth to my successor. If you want to hear it, then you have best help Lamachi win. Interesting. Okay. Very well, um. Dawn Servant. On my honor as a student of Baldessian, I will find your golden city. What if Watlama doesn't win, though? Is Are we still going to be able to know? Maybe not? Thank you for hearing my petition. Where she's going to win? That's fine. 
Interesting. Ooh. I like that he didn't just tell her outright. You gotta work for it, Cryo. Just like the rest of us. It's never easy. Oh, about that. She's grown into a remarkable young woman. You should be proud, Galov. Aw, oh, so he... Okay. Aww. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gold. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so cute. It's like the people around you. Grown Whoa, look at all the people. Grown up to see you. Or have seen you grow up. He's probably known her ever since she was a baby then. <laughs> Look at all Too the people. To change your mind now, I suppose. But are you sure you wish to be part of this? Of course. This sounds fun. Our third promise is not want to take no for an answer. Though you may have agreed to help, I worry that you were swept up in her relentless enthusiasm. Or perhaps you've been lured by the glory of the Golden City. Either way, this contest for the throne will place you and yours at the heart of political turmoil. If you are second-guessing your decision, tell me now. This may be my last chance to help you withdraw. No. No way, man. Do I get an answer? Do I get a choice? Oh. Life is a series of journeys, my friend. And there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Couldn't have said it better myself, Only then Chan. can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ugh, I love that. Ugh. I love how she thinks of Graha in that moment. I want to see where this journey leads. Wise words from the best boy. <laughs> so you are committed to your path. I will speak no more of it then. As for my own involvement, I can no longer conduct myself as a mere guide, I think. Not after the dawn servant's revelation. First promise, our village needs aid. The cold weather stunts our crops, and the children of our village go hungry. Oh no. Wait, now he's gonna bring Once this up? Once you the throne, I beg of you, grant my people new lands, please. Oh, I see, I see. Sir Elja. Sir Elja? Oh, that's, oh, oh. Take heart, tiller of the soil. The resilient son, blood heir to the dawn servant, has heard your pleas. Huh. Why did he just say it? Okay. Alright, alright. Okay, okay. Soralta, the first promise and commander of the Landscape. Oh, he's commander. Oh, right, he's commander of the Landsguard, right. Soralta, the Palacea. Seer. As he was so careful to remind the crowd, Soralja is indeed the natural child of Gulul Jaja. Oh, is that why he didn't he he made the seer speak for him because he's the natural child? Okay. Okay. And resilient son. Is that another title? Like the first promise? After a fashion. Common knowledge has it that two-headed Mamulja cannot sire children. Two-headed Mamulja cannot sire children? Yet Soralja was born all the same, with the head of Resolve's features and the head of Reason's scales. An extraordinary example of life's unyielding resilience. Really? 
Oh. Cool. And a warrior's the mom. He says little, but the way he moves. I know a hardened soldier when I see one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be a worthy soldier. opponent. A gift he inherited from his father. Some even say that the son has already surpassed the sire. Should he come to power, the first promise means to employ that martial prowess in the conquest of foreign lands. For this, he and his supporters have been labeled expansionists. Interesting. That doesn't sound that good, but I guess it depends. Uh, thanks, Mellow! <laughs> this puts him in direct opposition to Wuklamat, who advocates for the preservation of peace. Yeah, direct opposition. So shoot, is he like the other two-headed guy that's evil? You may or recall mean? that she spoke of a claimant who cannot be allowed to rule. That is Soraltia, the warmonger. Ah. Oh, so she doesn't want him? Okay. What about the Jaja guy? But Jaja. So there's two people that can't be. Allowed to rule. Hmm. Ja -ja! <laughs> Kryon, are you all right? <sighs> the echo. It gave me a glimpse into Zoralja's ambitions. Oh no. Deep and unknowable, like an abyss. Yet at the same time, a roaring, unquenchable fire. It was a trifle terrifying, to be frank. All right. Let's mark him off our get rid of list. What about this guy? He looks really nice. Makote. Look at his outfit. Looking good, looking good. Is he a gunbreaker? What is he? Second promise. You must bring us more marvelous conveniences. More dirigibles and trains and the like. Oh. We need you in charge to make trading easier. <laughs> Outfit's cute. Ah, okay, the tinker. The elders, they complain and complain about the value oh, of But we're not like them. Afraid of everything foreign and new. Okay, okay. You have our wholehearted support. With your ingenuity and knowledge, you're right. sure to win the contest. Okay. Forgive me, but the right of succession is barely begun. I will hear your petitions if and when I like am named him. servant. If you will excuse me. Okay, so he brings all of the... Plain spoken, as always. <laughs> oh, that's our corner. Practical to a fault. So he brings all the cool stuff Kona, to the... The second promise. He spent time city. as a pupil at Charlene's own studium. Oh, pupil at Charlene's own studium. Now that you mention it, I think I did see him in the halls once or twice. There was nothing to suggest he was too rally, much less from a royal family. Right? The heck? That was by design. He forwent his usual garb and took an Eorsian name to avoid attention. Ah. So it was Kona who introduced the dirigibles. And the railway, too, given what we just heard. Right. In furtherance of his goal, to enrich Tuliolal with every bright notion he learned of in Sharia. He is the hope of those who prize innovation. I like him, I like him. As aloof as he may seem, Kona and Wuklamat actually get along rather well. They bicker and banter, as only close siblings do. That's cute. Wuklama! Oh, no, this guy. <laughs> How gracious of you all to cheer the lesser claimants. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, not everybody likes him. Yeah, look, that guy's shaking his head. Oh, he saw that. Uh oh. Oh, no! Use your chameleon powers! 
Hide. Oh, come now. What are you afraid of? I'm no different from your dawn servant. Uh oh. Yeah, you are. What? That my kind should reign is Mamulja tradition, and has been so since before there was a Tuliola. I'll brush aside your feeble contenders. Oh, they're scared. And then you'll see who deserves your fealty. <laughs> I think the leader knows this guy ain't gonna well win. Said, brother. No way. He knows. He knows. Get him out of here. The Mamulja have finally found peace in Tuliolal. Uh, I pity yeah. those fanatics are intent on keeping that tradition alive. Yeah, you know, you tell them. I forgot the different clans. The again. chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Jaja, winner of the recent martial tournament, and the only claimant not of the Dawn's Promise. Okay, so he got. Okay, so he was the winner of the martial tournament. Okay. His strength is undeniable, but you see how he is. A few devoted Mamulja are his only supporters. Okay. Only supporters. What would he do with the throne should he win it? What do you think, Kryle? His policies and so forth. I doubt he's thought much beyond winning the contest itself. <laughs> you don't! <laughs> Aravel cooked up. But one thing seems certain. Oh. If he does become Dawn Servant, he will see the Mamulja exalted as the ruling class. Yeah. And all others forced into subservience. <laughs> he doesn't think, uh, but... <sighs> Sounds like another that cannot be allowed to rule. Exactly, Alice. Exactly. Wait, why is everybody leaving? We're not done! Hello? Wait... What? Why did? How rude! Why didn't they stay for walk the month? That's, aww. The least popular. She's so cute and bubbly and oh my god, what? Oh, there! Look at how happy he is we to see her. We wish for one thing and one thing only. Third promise: to abide together in harmony with our neighbors whom we love in this land we share. It is our way. The Turoli way. Aww. Galul Jaja built for us this peaceful nation, and we beg you to preserve it. You have my word. I guess, yeah, we're the I underdogs. Like please go unanswered. Oh, why couldn't they just still stay there? Buttholes, how disrespectful. This is Until still... Until Turiolal was founded some 80 years ago, this continent was ravaged by war. The eldest among us remember that dark era, and they are Wuklamat's most ardent supporters. So the wisest people are her supporters. That makes sense. But how disrespectful! This is this is still the child of the current emperor. Emperor? Anyways, people. Apologies. It's hard to get away. Look at her. She doesn't care. Oh, she's so cute. This is Namika. My childhood nursemaid. Aww. She's been like a mother to me my whole life. Aww. I told her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted on seeing us off. How wholesome. I place our precious third promise into your care. Did you know Wuklamat was taking part in the rite of succession? Of the Dawn's promise. I thought it was only Zoralja and Kona. If she has any accomplishments to her name, I've yet to hear them. Compared to the two Mamulja, she pales in martial prowess. And then there's Kona, who's far and away the most educated of the bunch. I hate to say it, but it's hardly a competition. You want to speak louder? It's fine. More than anyone. I understand how much better my brothers are than me. Oh, Better? Wook Lamart. I have never thought of you as the lesser sibling. Let's go slap that Mia Vera a new set of bunny ways, ears. 
But you boast qualities that both lack. A strength that is yours alone. Having cared for you for so long, I should know. That is so sweet. The heck? Thank you, Namika. Uh, that's so sweet. Well, we ought to be on our way. I wish I could play this game with like crazy ultra graphics. Because I could see every yes, hurry fur, along. piece of fur on her face. Wait word of your victory with bated breath. Aww. We need this woman in our lives, right? Everybody needs a Namika, Mamika, her. I already forgot her name. Oh, yay. Ring, 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 ring. That was so good. Ooh, this makes me so excited for how this story is going to play out. We get to go. Well, that's kind of like a traditional Final Fantasy thing. We have to go amongst all the different clans, combine them. But this is a contest now, so we gotta do it faster than the other. And we gotta prove our worth. Exactly, right, Supreme? How's gaming? Oh, so good, Madrona. It's so good. I'm almost done with like the series of cutscenes. Well, so much for the brief reunion I had in mind. Papa is not one to waste time when he decides to act. I'm used to it by now, of course, but others are often caught off guard. In any case, we should talk about how we're going to find the city of gold. All we have to all we have to work with are the seven tablets and their connection to the Tuliolo saga. Might I suggest first comparing the tablets against the pillars? We could check for any discrepancies between them. Good idea. Let's go and take a look. Nice. Nice. Here, let me unpause my alerts for Satomi with the 80 months. Satomi, are you still here? Are you enjoying your time in Dawn Trail? What level are you? This is gonna take a minute. <laughs> Thank you so much again. <laughs> what was your message when you subbed? Have a good stream, Kylie. You're so cute. I know. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I love my alert <laughs> with Titus. Um, I'm enjoying it. Oh, you're level 98 Viper. Ooh, nice. Speak with Alphano. All right, Alphano is down here. All right. Um, I guess we just go. Wee! <laughs> Wee! I'm just following this person. <laughs> Some Lollafell is stalking me. Do I need to go down there? Nah. Are you doing main story quest to tell me, or are you skipping it for right now to level up? I don't know why I can't. It makes me sad. The game is so beautiful, rich in story. Uh, MMOs aren't for everyone, but I wish you would play. Ah! Heal me, fairy. I've been doing all the quests. Nice. Oh, and you're level 98. Dang. Good job, Satomi. That makes everyone welcome at the tablets, if you would. Of course. Good on Alphano for being like, yeah, let's find the discrepancies. Everyone has a tablet, then let's compare them to their res respective pillars. Keep an eye out for even the smallest differences. It's like a spot the difference game. The 
these kind of things, I am the worst at. How much you want to bet they're identical? There's nothing different about them. Nah, no way. There's something. There's gotta be something different. Unless I'm missing something, the glyphs appear to be identical. They are identical. The only difference between that the tablets have hollows where the keystones are to be fitted. So now that we've established that the scenes are the same, where do we go from here? Okay, so they are identical. The Dawn Servant said we were to retrace the path he walked in uniting Toral's peoples, and that we would encounter seven electors along the way. Who do we go to first, though? Maybe her people, like the Hrothgar people? Then we have the answer here in front of us. Papa's path is all laid out in the Tuliola Saga. Hi, Aki. How are you doing? The events the glyphs portray, do we know the exact locations where they took place? If one is close, we could go there and search for an elector. That would confirm we're on the right track. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, is distance-wise. Hmm, let me think. The Lay of Reeds was in the nearby Hanu Hanu settlement. Papa took me there once. It was during festival season and the whole village was alive with good cheer. There's also the Lay of Gold that one involved the Pelu Pelu village, which is about the same distance from here. Before going anywhere, we should ask her around about the road ahead. I heard a lot of talks. Oh, I heard a lot of talk as we toured the city about the storm we passed through the sea. Apparently, it ravaged Yacht Toral several, several days ago. Since our roads are not as well paved as, a, or, as Eorzea's, they're more susceptible to damage from natural disasters. If we want to avoid wasting time taking a dead-end trail, I suggest we spend a few moments making inquiries. I'm the best. Freaking finally being able to play Dawn Trail. I'm at I'm at peace right now. If it's in inf if it's information we need, le just leave it to me. I'll bring the information to us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> it would be prudent to ensure we're prepared for the journey. I'll guide you to the accommodations I've arranged. <laughs> we need to get a new toothbrush. I forgot mine back in Charlian. Um, okay. Alright, where did Aaron Bell go? This way? Down here? Whee! I love how people dress. Can you imagine being in a cutscene dressed as this? And it's like a serious moment. Can you imagine? <laughs> ah, that's right. The reservation is under Wukla Matt's name. If you don't mind, I'll leave my companions to you. Certainly, sir. I'll go and track down the third promise. Once you finish organizing your gear, you can meet us outside. Zvalyav Tai. Tai. T? Tai? Tai. Greetings, visitors to Tuliol, and welcome to the Ford Cabins. Whenever you are ready, I will show you to your rooms. Cool. The inn. Is that the inn? I guess this is the... Oh, wow. It's like oh, a vacation resort. <laughs> we get a beach front or beach, beach room. Oh, wait. No, just kidding. It's over here? Interesting. Looking like that during the few character death scenes. 
<laughs> it just makes Final Fantasy 14, Final Fantasy 14 in the best possible way. Uh, okay, so it's upstairs. Oh, it's up, up the stairs of the restaurant. This is where we're staying? I think. Oh, wait. Or maybe not. Or maybe we're trying to... Where? Oh, here, here, here. Are we waiting for Aaron Bell? Oh, we're waiting for everybody. Trust you to be the keenest to head out, Miss. But where is Air where are Aaron Bell Walkman, I wonder? Walklamat. Oh. Oh. Oh good, you're all here. Who might your companions be? Seeing as we need information, I thought, who better to get it from than the locals? Those two hail from the villages we're thinking to visit. Too bad they can't come with us to be our guide. They probably have busy lives, though. I give you credit for taking initiative, at least. What do you mean, at least? I am honored that the third promise would seek my advice. I, too, am happy to answer your questions. Any encounter might be an opportunity to do business. Thank you both for your help. Ah, uh, before we begin, there will doubtless be other occasions when we need to act independently, so I brought these for the two of you. Ah. Trusty old... I forgot what they're called. What's this? A leak pearl. Tis called a leaf pearl, a gemstone harvested from a special shell. When linked together, they allow people to communicate across great distances. Is that so? What a handy thing to have. She she needs to bring link pearls to this land. Then that could be something she's known for. It'll be very useful on our travels. Speaking of which, I should get back to introducing my two new friends here. What? Where? Oh. Took a little bit to load. The Tuliolo Saga features a number of Tural's clans. Two of those, the Hanu Hanu and the Pelu Pelu, have settlements relatively close to the city, so I brought a representative of each. As I mentioned before, the Hanu are, very, are a cheerful people who love their festivals. They make their appearance in the Lay of Reeds in their home village. Okay, Hanu? Akanu, maybe? Is located in Kozamaoka. The other smaller fellow is one of the Pelu, a clan of business minded folk from Urkopacha. They appear in the Lay of Gold and craft all kinds of marvelous goods in Wachun Pelo, their village. Now, as for deciding which village to visit first, why don't you put that adventurer's instinct of yours to work for us? Pick our destination. Upon completing this quest, the Mesonara will branch into two quest paths. Hmm. Accepting the quest from the helpful Hanu will temporarily prevent you from accepting the quest from the approachable Pelu. And vice versa. Uh, who do I want to do first? The second quest path will become an available will become available for the, the respective NPC once you've completed the series of quests from the first path. Furthermore, story elements and quest rewards will not be affected by your initial choice of path. Speak with NPC you prefer and embark on the trail for the right of succession. Alright. So I have to choose between the Pelu and the Hanu. We're back. We're back to the Final Fantasy. Oh wow, 45. That's not bad at all. What the heck? Not bad, chat. I logged out. Yeah, it's because it logs you out if you're AFK, right? It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. You know, there was something... 
while playing and getting to Tuliol. It kind of gives me Stormblood vibes. Do y'all get the Stormblood vibes? Granted, I haven't played Stormblood in five ever, right? It's been a while and I can't remember a lot from Stormblood. I do have this. Woo. But, um. It reminds me of Stormblood because of like the different cultures and that we had to go to like the different tribes. And did it in Stormblood, didn't we have it have to like unite the tribes? I can't remember. For the sake of it, I can't remember. We haven't seen Hien in a long time either, but he was he's like one of my favorite characters. Um obviously her too but yeah we go around with leaves to get support yeah i mean technically we're not going ar yeah we are going around to get support because they need to go to like the seven electors right and get their favor to get the stone right so it's kind of it gives me stormblood vibes a lot which has been a while since i've played stormblood yeah, Elise. <laughs> um, my husband cleaned out the fridge this morning. A true hero and gentleman. Oh, that's great. I was over here playing words on stream, cheering him on. That's nice of you. Tom left, and I was like, where the heck did he go? So, <laughs> missing in action, Tom. Yeah, the AFK system. Yeah. It's okay, though. All right. I am going to choose the Pelu Pelu for my first, like, quest, so. <sighs> yeah, reminds me of Stormblood 2. <laughs> Alright, shall we go? The quest to Koza Kozamaka will become available once you have completed this quest series, beginning with the approachable Pelu. Yeah, that's what I want. Yes. What is it you'd like to know? Our main concern was confirming the state of the road ahead. As I recall, to reach Urquopacha, Urquopacha, we depart from the Arch of the Dawn and then take the road west at the first fork. Should we be wary of anything along the way? That is indeed the way to Urquopacha. After the damage wrought by the recent downpour, however, you'll be doing more stumbling than walking, but do take heart. When it comes to rugged terrain, we have a most dependable solution available. Come with me. So he is going to be our guide. Perfect. Perfect. Well, we'll be back to talk to you in good time, friend Hanu. Meanwhile, you can eat and drink your fill at Xavalia TA. It's all been arranged. Oh, that's nice. While you wait for us, you can have a feast. Have a good day, Vanu Vanu sir. Or Hanu Hanu. It's hot. Probably because my windows are all like open. But not open open. Just the blinds are letting the burning sun in. Um <laughs> hey, little seahorse. Um oh <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> How are you doing in the game, Rhea? Where, where are you? What level are you? Oh, you're 95. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Todd, the ever becoming fairy queen. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, are we going to ride the alpacas? Oh, I knew I chose right. Todd the queen. <laughs> May I introduce to you our most dependable companion, the alpaca. 
I'm on a detour getting rid of some items pilling up on my retainers. That's a good idea. You didn't do that before, Rhea? These animals can traverse Urkel Pasha's steep mountain trails as if they were gentle fields and all while carrying heavy loads. Our merchants would be lost without them. So they fill much the same niche as our chocobos back home. Here, let me turn this up. Maybe like here. Okay. You don't have alpacas in Eorzea? Alpacas are native to Yoktural. Eorzea has its chocobos and the eastern lands have their horses. White Coach has the trouble of breeding another pack beast in a place which ill suits its qualities and where it is not needed anyway. Hmm, but must we ride these little monsters? I get the impression you aren't fond of alpacas. When I was small and being a bit naughty, I went around pulling on their wool. One of them spat on me and it was the foulest stench you can imagine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, I see. What are they like to ride? Alpacas bred as mounts are inquisitive and docile. Even those without experience find them easy to handle. <laughs> We're really doing this then. So, was my information useful to you? I yes, yeah, very helpful. Even if it wasn't what I wanted to hear. Good, I'll take my payment now. Oh, you want to you want me to pay you pay you? Uh-oh. I guess I should have expected as much from a Pelu merchant. Let me see what I have on me. That's awkward. Oh no. I'm kind of not a fan of the new magic job. What, Pictomancer? The Pelu Pelu value the art or the act of spreading joy through trade. As you should know, they take pride in making deals that benefit both parties. That's nice. Don't we have people in Eorzea that are like the Pelu Pelu? Who's like the Pelu Pelu in Eorzea? Who's the merchants in Eorzea? Here you go, a fair price for your fair advice. Yes, I made a trade with the third promise herself. My friends will never believe this. I shall be on my way now. I wish you safe travels. Off you go then, and thank you. It just feels like something they flung together. Oh, how so? I haven't played it, so I'm just curious. Hi, Rexy! How are you doing today? Look how cute. We get to ride these. These mean, white, spitting machines. I was gonna say green, but they're not green. I better not get spit on again. Have y'all ever been spit on by uh, an alpaca? A lot of my friends like it, but not the AoE on gain on only four plus targets. What does that mean, AoE on gain? It feels too combo heavy for my taste. A camel? Oh no. Oh no. That's probably this. No, camels are bigger. I think. I don't know what would be worse. I'm not gonna ass. I'm not going to try to figure that out. You brought that on yourself. Remain calm and gentle and so will they. <laughs> I'm not happy about this, but if we need to ride alpacas to reach Urkopacha, then that's what we'll do. Oh, I knew what AoE meant. I just didn't know what on gain meant. So it's only worth AoEing DPS gain, oh, DPS gain if you're hitting four or more targets with it. So even in pools and dungeon, oh, look at this. Hold that thought. <gasps> look. To rally poets of yore sang of a mountain that would stand tall, even should all other lands sink. Is this where sea. we see the thick cactus? Indomitable and eternal, it arises from Urkopacha. The hundred peaks of time. The hundred peaks of time. Of all the beasts which crawl and fly, only the legendary Valikarmanda could hope to disturb the summit's serene majesty. Yet, with that flying calamity imprisoned by the Dawn Serpent, what great feat remains for those who would claim the throne? Crunchy road sound. <gasps> Oh, that was, I was hoping to see them a little bit better with the alpacas, but okay. 
Oh, look at this. So this is Urkopacha. Urkopacha. I've never actually been here. I was here saying before. it right. Urkopacha. <gasps> the air is so crisp and clear. Mountains everywhere you look. This is like the opposite of Texas. That one massive peak in particular has quite the presence. That looks so cool. It puts cool. me in mind of so much. Oh. That is Warkor Sormor, the tallest mountain in Yoktural. Its sheer height makes it an imposing climb. But there are other reasons the ambitious keep their distance. Oh, do tell. <sighs> Where to begin? Excuse me, but you're Wuk Lamat, are you not? I, I hadn't thought to encounter one of the Dawn's promise here of all places. I'm <laughs> lucky it's not night and foggy. All your cutscenes have been raining. <laughs> uh, but, but I should introduce myself. I am Bolnok, a weaver by trade. Sorry. Well met, Bolnok. We're on our way Bolnok. to watch Bello. Oh, truly, <laughs> I've just come from there, as it happens. I'd ask the Pelu Pelu who sell me their wool to give me a tour of their alpaca ranch. The head rancher and I shared a bottle of mezcal while he explained the finer points of wool production. Mezcal? <laughs> it's like a happy cheery cutscene and then it was raining. I'm sorry. When I got to the other zone, they were like, it's known for being bright and colorful, and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Maxie, thanks for the five stream streak. Mezcal, is that a local beverage? Sounds like beer. Or it's something. an Urkopacha specialty. A spirit made from distilled agave heart juice. Ooh, juice. Heart juice. Ooh. Juice. Yes, and it must have done wonders for my mood, for I tripled my usual order of alpaca wool. Uh, they did offer me a discount, though, so it, it wasn't a bad deal in the end. <laughs> ah, but listen to me, boring you with my tedious stories. I, I will leave you before you are lulled to sleep. Uh, goodbye, and safe travels. Silly me. I almost forgot to say the thing I actually wanted to say. Peace for Tural. I agree with your vision, Third Promise. You have my support in your bid for the throne. That's nice. That's nice. Mm, that's nice. I gather from his tale we would be foolish to underestimate Pelu Pelu merchants. Mm. Yes, they do more than run the markets in Tuliola. Pelu Pelu peddlers can be found everywhere in Tural, traveling from place to place on their sturdy alpacas. They are effusive and engaging speakers, and many is the customer who's been talked into spending more than they've bargained for. They won't find this customer so easily charmed. <laughs> we'll see about that. Vachun Pelo is down the path. Off the main road. Don't get lost. It's right there. For real. Whee. It's like tequila only made with different cactus. Is that what it's like? Ooh. Oh no, what happened to the sun? Wind. Y'all jinxed me.
This is it. Washington Pelo, home of the Pelu Pelu. Wuklama should have arrived before us. Yes. Time to go attuned to the eighth right. The real experience? <laughs> That's not good. Uh-oh. You've come all this way for the right of succession? Oh, so this means I'm exchanging words with a future Dawn servant. But please, the outcome is far from decided, but it is a possibility. How fortunate, then, the ideal in cloaks woven from especially luxur luxurious alpaca wool. Such a garment would look magnificent when draped over the shoulders of our budding ruler. Ah, uh, see, she is, look at that, look at that. They know what they're doing. <laughs> and a nation's ruler should dress her best for her adoring people. Yes, finery for our finest lady. That's right. Come, third promise. My well-stocked shelves are but a few steps away. Finest lady. Hey, <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah, look at her being <laughs> scammed. Well, maybe not scammed, but complimented. Um, hi Art! Hello! I downloaded Final Fantasy 14 a few days ago, but I am so lost. You have a newbie guild like you did in Mavi. Uh, our guild is friendly, but it definitely isn't a newbie guild, I would say. But you're more than welcome to join, and if you ever find a better one, you can leave. But yeah, I don't know. Like, we have a lot of people that know a lot. Uh, so I think it could be newbie friendly. It's just, uh, it's a guild that kind of comes and goes based off expansions, but yeah. How much is the sub in Final Fantasy XIV? I think it, it depends on how many characters you want, but 13 a month is the minimum. And then I can't remember the other amount, but yeah. All right, I suppose a quick look when it hurt. See? Um, what did we just talk about? Aaronfell, when did you... <laughs> oh, Shatona from far off Zaktura. Northern winters are bitterly cold affairs, I'm, a, I'm told. I cannot imagine how you survive them without a lovely warm cloak of quality alpaca wool. No, thank you. I'm not in need of new clothes at the moment, but neither is a third promise. Perhaps another time. Of course, of course. My shop door is always open. Look at those guys trying to be sneaky. Sneaky. You were saying something about not being easily charmed. I was just... Uh. <laughs> As I mentioned previously, the Pelo people live for bringing happiness through trade. They won't cheat you or sell you defective goods. They will, however, disarm you with their death turns of phrase and unwitting customers like... Walk the mat fell prey to this affable approach time and time again. Your only recourse is a clear and firm refusal. They won't pursue the matter should you make your disinterest plain. Okay, so you have to be direct. Something that would be the worst at. A valuable insight into the minds of the Pelu Pelu. Let us all take Arendelle's words of caution to heart. I would be easily influ influenced, I'm afraid. Since 1.0, wow, it's, that's a bit, it's been a while. <laughs> You're out of stuff to do? Well, yeah, I would love for you to play, and you are obviously wo more than welcome to join my guild. Um, the only thing is you have to be on my server to join my guild. So, um, Excalibur is the server I play on, if you want. Hi, Unique. Thank you. Aw, thanks, Hawk. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, hold on. Before I talk to her, hold that thought. Whoa, look at his bike. Is that a new mount? Uh -huh. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I haven't played in a while. It looks like something from Solution uh, 69. I will let you know if I commit to the game. I'm still in the tutorial. We'll take your time. The free trial goes all the way up till Stormblood. So that's like so much free content that you should do. Traders of happiness. Not my finest moment, I'll admit. But now that we're here, let's do what we came to do. Find the Elector. Allow me to propose a strategy then. Cryo, Alice and I will speak with the merchants. 
Well, Clement, you and Arabelle might try approaching travelers and passers-by. Miss, pray investigate any of the other establishments which catch your eye. Should we learn aught of use, let us relay, re, yeah, relay it in the third, relate it to the third promise. Story-based games are rough for me. I hate reading, so I need to fully, to really commit to get into the game. That's fair. That's fair. The music here is cute. <laughs> oh, I have to go talk to this distillery worker. <gasps> oh, excuse me. The dawn servant elector. Ah, oh, I thought you were a new face in town. Here for the right of succession, I take it. Me, I don't care much who sits the throne so long as they keep Toral peaceful. People tend not to be in the mood to relax and sit for excellent Mexico. Mezcal. Once arrows and spears start flying, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, would you like a cup? A joy shared is a joy doubled, I say. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Oh, right, yes, you were asking about the that elector business. Being but freshly returned from my trading route, I've heard that there's a contest afoot, but not much else. Our head ledger, Tob Tobley, could probably tell you more about it. Tobly? Tobly? It's kind of funny. He's like, as long as there's peace, I don't care. Like, this guy needs to wake up because not everybody that's in the contest wants peace. Come on, bro. <clears throat> Impatient Porter. Electors? Oh, yes, I've heard all about the right of succession. They're looking to put a new ruler on the throne, eh? Personally, I'm rooting for Zoralja. Uh, if the first promise wins, he'll look to expand our sphere of influence. That means access to more resources and more customers in the thousands column, potentially. So many new trading opportunities to spread happiness far and wide. That makes sense. He has an opinion, um, but that opinion is wrong. Others have been coming around to my way of thinking, so I've begun crafting goods inspired by the resilient sun. Would you care to purchase something? Um, no, no, I would not. <laughs> is that the best way to do it? Very well, you said you wanted to know about the elector. I could help you, but I won't. I can tell you I can tell you're no supporter of Zoral Ja or his policies. Awkward. I'm not gonna help you because you're um, not him or a supporter. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, look. It's pink one. Oh, how cute. It's pink. Rhea, look, it's pink one. Hello there. I'm Ma Blue. Do you have a question for me? Pink. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know about any electors. You should take a moment to see our prize alpacas before you leave though. Oh, but be sure to admire them for from a respectable distance. Get too close and our nervous darlings may be tempted to spit on you, and that stuff stinks. It happened to be it happened to be it happened to a visiting buyer not too long ago. Tobley, that's the head rancher, was so mad at me for not giving a proper warning. No one makes a mistake without Tobley noticing. He knows everything that happens on this ranch. Alright, yeah, we gotta go to Tobley then. And Mabby, I just skip all the dialogue and cutscenes. Can I get away with that in Final Fantasy XIV or is that a bad idea? I mean... It's however you want to play. I'm never going to judge people how they want to play. However... Final Fantasy XIV has one of the best stories in any MMO, in my opinion. Um, Mavi does not come compare at all story-wise. Granted, I haven't played a lot of the story in Mavi, but from what I did play, it was a snore fest. This is this sometimes can be a little slow, 
Um, like at the beginning, it's a little slow. However, it be it builds and it's like one of the best stories. So personally, I love the story. I think you shouldn't skip it. But yeah. Yeah. Now Mamanogi's story wasn't isn't necessarily the best. Uh, but this one is. This one is. This game is. It's one of the things that the game is is well known for is the story. You really have to wash yourself around these silver tongue peddlers. I almost bought a bottle of mezcal and a stack of blankets, and then there was this enchanting ornament. Anyway, I did manage to learn that Tobley is the man to talk to about the contest. Now, if only they'd share where this head ledger of theirs is to be found. The rancher. Really? He's also the head rancher? Well, the alpaca ranch is not far from here. I say we pay it a visit before the others return. Mostly due to the fact the creators treated it like a Final Fantasy game first. It just happens to be online. It's one of the amazing reasons why this story is so good. That and the writers are just... They've done... They've done such a good job. And the... D, and the Attention to detail and like all of the stories is so well done. Not everything is voice acted though, but some is. That is a lot of alpacas. Still, we know the head ledger could be here somewhere. I can't let fear deter me. Not to say that I'm scared, of course. It's okay to admit a weakness. Seasickness and alpacas. <laughs> Excuse me, is one of these workers totally? Totally? Oh yes, he likes to mingle with the ranch hands and keep an eye on things. I can't tell you which one he is though. You can't? Is this part of the contest? All I can say is that Totally often mentions his favorite pungent subject. He also can't resist a profitable trade, though who among us could? Am I right? Still, if you bring him a good, a very good deal, he might let his identity slip. Heh, so it's like a game. Easy enough. All I have to do is offer Tobley a deal he can't ignore. No problem at all. Well, maybe one problem. I don't think my purse is deep enough to pay everyone we think might be Tobley. Let's ask some questions first to narrow down the field. For a second, I thought she was going to ask me to pay. <laughs> Great, we can meet back here to share our impressions. <laughs> yeah, we're on. Of course. Me and my mispronouncing everything. <laughs> if everything was voice acted, then you wouldn't ever be able to hear my amazing uh, pronunciations of all these wonderful names. Oh well. It's not that bad. I don't think it's been that bad so far though. Has it? I think it's been pretty okay. That'd be a loss for us, surely. <laughs> huh? Well, obviously, I'm not totally. I, I mean, oops, I shouldn't have said that. You are meant to find out for yourself who totally is, or if an elector is even in the village at all. Good luck. You said that they were here. Or wait, they could be here. Diligent ranch hand. Ah, a visitor from across the salt, if I'm not mistaken. Already knowing me? Okay, okay. They said that this person, this totally person is very diligent and knows everything. Mm -hmm. Be warned, the alpacas will spit if you startle them. Okay, the warning, the warning. I suggest you keep your movements slow and deliberate. Hmm. Alright, totally. Under the alpaca we go. <laughs> Nonchalant ranch hand. Hmm. Am I Tobley? Look at, <laughs> look at 
<laughs> Am I totally? Yes, yes, that's me. Excellent work from the third promise and her entourage. Sharp instincts. Shall we commence the rite of succession then? I think they're trying to trick me. Boastful? You think I might be Tobly? Haha, <laughs> well, maybe I am. All I will say is that in this village, none have reared more alpacas than I. Not you. It's not you. I'm thinking it's the first one. Maybe. Yeah. Bunch of tricksters. Mm hmm. And thanks. <laughs> I see we're done. We're both done with our interrogations. So who do you think it is? I have my suspicions, but let me, let's hear your pick. All right, the diligent one. Yeah, diligent one. That one's, that is, that's it, I think. Ah, the worker's so intent on stable chores. I had my eye on that one too. Time to rip the mask off our mystery ranch hands, so to speak. Wait, what about you? But that, you had the same, Okay. Am I right? We know it's you, Tobly, and to prove it, I propose a deal. A generous sum of coin for confirmation of your true identity. Oh. An offer I gladly accept. Oh my god, am I wrong? As you have correctly guessed, I am indeed Tobly. <laughs> Head ledger of Watchroom Pello and head rancher of the family ranch. I am also one of Google Jaja's chosen electors. <gasps> totally is the elector. <gasps> I guessed right. Aha! In a place featured in the Tuliolo saga, just as we thought. I was right to trust in your instincts, and I wager this won't be the last time. I guess it was pretty obvious though, <laughs> but I still feel like uh, a genius. She found you out fair and square, totally. And I'm glad she did. Would have been a pity had her bid and ended here. I want to know what they look like without the masks. Do they actually have a beak? Deducing the Don Servant's elector was the first step of defeat. Too simple a task for this aspiring ruler, eh? So that was a part, that was part of the, that game was really part of the contest. I thought it was just for fun, but okay. Also, I love the voice. Tobly. Right. You know they don't have a beat. Not hard at all. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh no! He... No! You cheated! You didn't have to do the game! Zoralcha? What are you doing here? I am told the head ledger. Tobli is to be found here. You have to guess which one of us is Tobli. That's part of the test. She's scared. Oh! Oh, he is gonna do the thing. Let's see how he handles this. He just glares at him. Oh, look! He didn't make eye contact. You're totally. What? How did he know? Without even asking a single question. Very impressive indeed. <laughs> what if he said no? Without amusing <laughs> prologue out of the way, we can proceed to the actual challenge. What? Wait, that wasn't the challenge? Per the Don Servant's instructions, I was free to devise any manner of feat. I considered the number of possibilities in the tent column. But I think I have a good one. Ah, he was looking at Tobli. You must go forth. And capture for me an alpaca. What? <laughs> we have to get an alpaca? What? Oh my god, the music. While I've not had the 
best experiences with alpacas. Aren't they generally docile creatures? That doesn't sound like much of a challenge. <laughs> Did you <we> keep it? <laughs> Bring out the example! The example? So fluffy. This is a special kind of alpaca. Would you please approach the animal, Third Promise? Who? Me? Uh, well, it should stay calm if I stay calm, right? That's what Aaronville said. <laughs> what is this song? Kind of reminds me of like KK Slider. Extremely curious and extremely cowardly. <laughs> what Press you? your luck when they're frightened, and you'll get a face full of spit, as you've all just witnessed. Has an awful stench, their expectoration. The globs contain half digested food, you see, making it an effective deterrent against perceived threats. Ew! Gross. Wild valley breeds like this one are especially timid. And can therefore be quick to lash out. <laughs> They're also especially oh. hardy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Indeed. We take the rugged wild alpacas and breed them with our gentle domesticated stock. This produces the strong but beatable pack animals prized ah, by see. our traveling merchants. I see, I see. <sighs> so we're basically helping them by getting doing this challenge. Getting That's these all well alpacas good, for them. But did I need to bathe an alpaca spit for you to make your point? <laughs> so, the task is to catch a wild Ignored. alpaca. <laughs> that is correct. But be warned that it is a feat easier said than done. I suggest you prepare well before you enter the valley where the creatures dwell. Please tell me this is the first dungeon and then the boss is a giant alpaca. And by you, <laughs> I mean the claimants only. Allies are not permitted to assist with the catching. Oh shoot, really? The alpacas will help me judge which of you is worthy of receiving a keystone. Oh, okay. Wait, only one person can get so the keystone? So I'm to chase down a fluffy, spitting demon, and that somehow proves I'm fit to rule? <laughs> <laughs> As I said, the Dawn Servant granted me the freedom to decide my challenge. And when you reach the end of the rite, I dare say you will understand why I chose what I chose. Interesting. Leslie! One second. Sorry, I have alerts pause and I tend to just focus on the cutscene before I talk to chat. Very well. This won't take long. Okay. Alright, Fancy Pantsy. Didn't I warn you this was easier said than done? There are preparations to be made, factors to consider. A beast is a beast. All yield to strength. Oh. Oh, well then. Okay. Let's heed Tolly's words. So far, this experience has done absolutely nothing to improve my opinion of alpacas. Oh, look at my face! <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't do this. Revolting spit aside, they're just another animal. Yeah. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, the gang's all here. Are you all right, Oclamart? We thought we heard you scream. <laughs> the third promise does not scream. It was more of a startled yelp. 
A <laughs> startled yelp. <laughs> uh, scream, in other words. No! He always calls her out. It's so cute. <clears throat> Did you find the Elector? Oh, we certainly did. I love how uh, I love how this looks. Ugh. All right, tell the gang what's gonna happen. We must prepare, chat. All right, Leslie, how are you doing? How is Dawn Trail so far? Freaking amazing! I love it. Thank you for the raid. <gasps> You're a level one hundred viper. Good job, Gabe. Um, what is the MSQ in your title? I've seen it on other streams too. Oh wait, is there other people that have it in my in their title? Um, I just put it so then people know that I'm doing the main story quests in case um they may want to avoid spoilers because they're not doing the main story quests. Um, this stuff doesn't come in chapters, so as I wish it did, because then I could put like I'm on chapter one without spoiling anything. So instead, I'm just have to put MSQ, and it's kind of unfortunate because people don't know where I am at in the story unless they like come into the stream. But there's some streamers that don't play the MSQ at all, and they just like focus on leveling and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's why. Yeah. Hi, Chamu. Hello, how are you? My raid did not register at all. It's okay. <laughs> MSQ. There's a lot of acronyms, especially in this game, so it's okay. Um. Alright, let's keep going. I had to go and wash that nasty stuff off my face. I think I got all of it. But would you mind taking a sniff for me? Just to make sure that stench has ruined my sense of smell. Ew. No, don't. Hey, I saw that look. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that was cute. Ew. Gross. I tried my best, Oron. I found ways to level up quickly, plus Viper's fun. Wait, what did you, how did you find your way to level up quickly? Was that Hunts? Or was it because you like prepared early? So you could get a lot of levels? Um, I think I'm gonna wait before, I'm gonna wait for these ads to go away before I begin. The Feet of Gold. So I'm gonna have to go out into the wilds. I don't have any Aether currents. Oh my god! <laughs> Oran! Thanks for subbing! Welcome to my fairy family. We're so happy to have you! Thank you for subbing! Teach me your ways. I'm curious too of like how you level. Okay, ads are done. Alright. Let's continue. The feet of gold. Wait, did I get anything from that last quest? No. Let's go. Aether compass to find current. Oh yeah. Ugh. Okay. I guess I might if I okay. Uh as Wuklamat helped demonstrate, the Valley Alpaca are wary of people. Getting close enough to catch one will not be an easy task. You might have warned me about that earlier. I have enough trouble with tame alpacas. How do you expect me to wrangle a wild one? I don't know. It's your challenge. With the proper saddle, we infuse the leather with a relaxing scent that soothes the spitting beast. Oh, so we're going to have to go and get all these items to help her. But she has to actually go get the alpaca herself. Got it. Wonderful. Give me one of those then. Have you perhaps forgotten we are a clan of merchants? If you want a taming saddle, then you'll need to find a saddler and make them an offer. They don't come cheap, of course. Crafting a saddle will cost you the equivalent of 10 Pell in the thousands column. Okay, that's we can't afford that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you mean 10,000 Pell? I don't have that kind of coin. 
Converting to Gil, that comes to around a million or so. Mayhap, if we all pitch in. No, no, no. This is my feat to accomplish. I wouldn't feel right about having others pay the cost. I'll find the money somehow. Interesting. I love their outfit. In that case... What is it? What is that? That basket of wool is worth the sum you paid me earlier. One pell in the hundred, in the hundreds column. That basket of wool is worth the sum you paid me earlier? Beginning with the wool, you can trade for ever more valuable goods until you have something suitable to bargain with for the saddle. Oh, that's... That's nice gesture, but you think I can turn a hundred Pell into a million? That's 10,000 times more! <laughs> we need 10,000 Pell, not a million. So we'll look, so we're looking at a hundred times more. Oh, right, I panicked and got it confused with Alphano's million gill. How the heck are we gonna do this? Um... Hi, Taz. <laughs> I'm not so sure about this trading idea. You were almost talked into buying a cloak you didn't need more mere moments after you arrived. But I just, God, I hate it when you're right. Then let me help you with your deal making. Oh, hello again. Uh, Ma Blue, I work here as a ranch hand, but I've also learned a lot about the peddler profession. What a cutie pie. It's all right if I ate them now, yes? I guided the claimants towards the first step of the feat like you asked. As long as Wuklamat goes alone to capture our alpaca, she is free to accept assistance from whoever, whomever she likes. Hooray! Let's see about getting you that saddle then, third promise. I don't know why you made... I don't know why you made your offer, but I could use an ally with a beak for bargains. Welcome aboard, Bob Ma Blue. Should the rest of us stay behind, perhaps? It may be easier to haggle over prices without so many voices chiming in. Yes, yeah, stay here and pitch in with the ranch work. With Ma Blue gone, I'll need extra hands to tend to the alpacas. Gladly. Although, miss, I think you should go with Waklamat. You've seen markets and bazaars the world over, and surely you have sage advice to share. Maybe. In that case, you should also hold onto the alpaca wool. If it's misplaced or soiled in some way, you'll have nothing to bargain with. That's nice of the dude to come and give, or totally to give it back. As if I do, as if I do such a thing, but I'll leave the wool with Miss Anyway. The better to keep my hands free. No spitting on the wool allowed. Thank you for the air. To begin, I suggest we try trading the wool to Havley, the saddler. He won't agree to the deal, of course, but it'll give us an idea of how much he'll accept for his wares. Mm. Good idea, Ma Blue. Uh, oh, sorry, Water Goddess. I have a question. If I started my Final Fantasy journey, would I be able to jump into Dawn Trail or do I have to wait to do it? Uh, yeah, uh, if I just started. Oh, yeah, sorry, Water Goddess. You have, you have a Realm Reborn to do. You have Heaven Sword. I say this, cause, cause this is just fact. I don't mean to overwhelm you, but you have a Realm Reborn, you have Heaven Sword, you have Stormblood, you have Shadowbringers, and you have Inwalker. So you have five expansions. This is the sixth one. Did I miss one? No, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> I second guess myself because we're on patch 7.0 and I was like, wait. But I understand because 1.0. But anyways, yes. Yes, Oran is right. Uh, it's free up until the end of Stormblood. I think. So make sure to take advantage of that free trial. 
But there are some restrictions to the free trial, so if you'd rather not, then that's okay too. <sighs> it's starting to storm. Good thing I'm choosing a chill rest of my afternoon. Ooh, that's so nice if it's raining outside and you're playing video games, Leslie. Uh, that's nice. You also have thunderstorm warnings too? Aww, Oron, thank you! <laughs> that's sweet. I know, the graphical update, update does look really good. I love it. I love the detail and everything now. My character looks different though. Not in a bad way, but it's kind of weird to me. <laughs> okay, look, I have $5. Take it or leave it. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Uh, there is a skip potion, but I highly don't recommend to new players. Yes, I agree, because I don't... There's still a lot of stuff that you learn in the main story quest to get to you where we are, even though technically this is like a fresh start. But yeah, I don't recommend it either. But it's an option if you would prefer. Up to level 70, okay. Correct number of fingers, so you must be right. I tried to start the trial, but every world said it wasn't accepting new characters. It was confusing. I sort of gave up for now. Um, what I would suggest Elementalist is because this has been like a time and time problem for like, since the game has come out. Um, make your character at an odd hour. Um, what I mean by an odd hour is just like when most people are either at work or asleep, if you can, uh, maybe just like quickly get up, make your character, and then go back to bed. It's just an idea. It's just a suggestion. Um, but yeah. Or, yes, there are new servers. You could go to those new servers. And keep in mind, you can change your server later if you don't want to stay on that one. It's possible, but yeah. <gasps> no, I didn't know that, Gabe. What is their Twitch handle? I didn't know that. Oh, if I was a voice actor, actress, I would do that. I would stream the game that, oh, that would be so cool. I don't know anything about voice acting though. Oh, no rain, it's only A today, so that's nice. Oh yeah, that's not bad. All right, speak with Havley. Where's Havley? Where's the saddler? Uh, here. Okay, let's go back. Wow, look at the map. We've got a lot, a lot to explore, chat. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Giant monkey. The gorilla coming at me. It's a cool, that's a cool mount though. My favorite mount is the fat cat mount. And my, uh, Paisa. This is my favorite too. Look, I'm giving him a hug. And then also this one. But this one's worth a lot of money or MGP. I have to like zoom out for you to see it. Those are my mount, my favorite mounts. Oh wait! Hold on, I re I'm just reminded. Isn't Twitch doing the thingy where you guys can watch and then y'all can get this mount, the chocoper? Or do I not have it enabled? Oh shoot, I literally just remembered. Do I not? Do I need to go in and enable it, or is it already a thing? Squidsina. Oh, it's not until full release? Oh, 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 okay, okay. I thought it was available now. Are you sure? Can somebody look that up for me? Yeah, we're on! Even if I was like a side character. Oh, that'd be so cool. <clears throat> That's so cool. Thanks for telling me that, Gabe. I'm gonna go and add them. Let me, let me put in my notes so I can go back. Squid Cinna. What a very unique username. I like it. What is that cute little cutie? Oh, my little fat cat minion? 
this minion? Pet. La 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 la. There's some minions that react when you do certain things. But this is my fat cat minion. <laughs> They're like little animals that follow you. They don't do anything. They just sit there and look pretty. Um, except some of them um, can ride on you. Um, where's my... Like this one? What do I say again? Come here. And then he climbs on you and he sits on your head. Uh, it depends on what your race is, though. They don't always sit on your head. Sometimes they sit on your shoulder. Um, uh, but tee hee. Tee hee. Alright, let's talk to Havley. <gasps> really? Alphano's VA? We need Grahatia's VA to get into Twitch. Because I'm also a really big Bridgerton fan. <laughs> that would be awesome. It starts July 2nd. From July 2nd until July 29th. Okay, yeah, so full release. Okay, so tomorrow. Alright, good to know. I'll have to figure out how to enable it then. Oh, you're so sweet, Oran. Oh my god, you're buttering me up. Uh, thank you. A lot of the bird ones perch on you too. Yeah, the bird ones. Red. I was trying to find my red panda one. Um, I guess I could do this. Oh wait. Panda? A lesser panda is what it's called. Okay. Why is it lesser? You have to do slash beckon. Slash beckon. See? <laughs> Cute, huh? <laughs> Anyways. Ah, Torva. How can they tell each other apart? Everybody's wearing a mask. Something I can do for you? Maybe it's how they talk. Uh, we've come to bargain. I need one of your special taming saddles to catch a wild alpaca. A saddle, is it? And how will you be paying for it? <laughs> With this wool. <laughs> With this basket of fine alpaca wool. Literally, it's worth like nothing. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> What use does a saddle maker have for wool? Besides, this would barely cover the cost of a single strap buckle. <laughs> Offer me something I actually want. Okay. Uh, and what might that be? Mezcal, I like to nurse a cup at day's end while I inspect my finished work. Bring me a jug of quality stuff and you've got yourself a deal. Wow, a whole saddle is worse is worth Mezcal? Really? Wow, that stuff must be really expensive then. This bodes well for us, third promise. Such Mezcal can be hand can be had for only five Pell in the thousands column. What does that mean in the thousands column? Do they mean 5,000 Pell? I'm confused by that. Hold on, hold on. Did you say third promise? Then my offer has changed. The saddle's going to cost you a jug of premium mezcal, age three years at least. Mablu! Three years? That stuff is valued at 10,000 Pell or more. Why have you doubled the price? Because I must support the man of ambition who will see my business prosper. Zoralja will go to war and his cavalry will need saddles. Lots of saddles. Oh, God. It's nothing personal, third promise, but I won't sell you my craft or anything less than my asking price. I feel like this is illegal. I'm being... What's the term? They wouldn't have done this if they thought I was just a normal person. Discrimination. Discriminated? I'm being discriminated against. It's pronounced. Yeah. 
keep your mouth shut, please. <laughs> no, they, I'm just looking at him. Ah. Can't say that I blame him. I'm known for championing peace, and peace is unlikely to bring him more customers. Ugh, I guess. Discrimination. Those are our grandparents' generation. Remember the dark days when the clans were at war? Many of these Pelu pray for your victory, Wok Lamat. The younger ones, though, to them, strife and bloodshed are as children's stories. They think themselves safe from those horrors and take the peace we now enjoy for granted. Mm. Best girl dressed in pink to make sure she stood out from the rest. <laughs> I do love that she's all in pink. Still, others are unsatisfied with this quiet prosperity and crave the future the second promise and visions. They've become obsessed with innovations like the dirigibles that have made trade swift and easy. Okay, so it seems like they're split amongst them themselves of who they want to be the ruler. Then you have those like Havli convinced that the first promises plans for conquest will afford them opportunities for great profit. But what about you, Mablu? Aren't you of the younger generation? At least a year or two younger than me, I'd say. Oh, I was raised on the old tales. I've memorized the accounts of what it was like when the Yaqui ruled our village. I want to meet the Yaqui. That's why I offered to help. I want you to become Dawn Servant to keep our nation from going back to the way it was. She's a supporter too. Ah. Well then, I guess I'd better make sure I win the contest. But the type of mess cow the saddle maker wants is so very expensive. Weren't we expecting to need 10,000 Pell from the outset? Nothing's changed. We just need to get on with it. I may not have a head for trade or the stomach for alpacas, but I won't give up with the piece of Tuliolo on the line. Tuliolo. Then neither will I. We will make you Dawn Servant. Aiming for that 10,000 Pell jug right away will only bring us failure and frustration. So let's just, so let's try exchanging the wool for anything even a touch more valuable. The trick is to find someone who needs alpaca wool and is willing to trade at a loss to acquire it. Someone who supports your bid for the throne, for instance. Ooh. Go to our support source, our supporters. <gasps> that guy. Yeah, but he already bought so much wool, though. <laughs> Didn't he? He doesn't need more. Of course, the weaver! Balnock was his name, I believe. He went out of his way to say he agreed with my vision and he was here to buy wool. But I thought he already bought too much. I think I remember the direction he was going, but for now let's head back to that road where we first met him. Uh, swindled! <laughs> Price gouging! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Hydrate or dehydrate? Yes, make sure to drink water guys and get snacks. I wish I bought more snacks But I didn't <laughs> Supreme all the words oh, Okay, all right Where can we find where'd she go? Oh, this way. Um, how do I do the Aether current again? Oops. Oh, I have the wings on, but I didn't mean to put the wings on. Oh, compass. I have it on here. Oh, I forgot how much yalms are. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. <laughs> Stop. Look, there's a wild alpaca. Just grab it. They still are going to judge us based off the alpaca. Or, excuse me, judge her based off the alpaca that she gets. So I'm guessing 
Maybe he's looking for an alpaca that's like happy or like docile or something. This is the spot. After Bok, uh, Bull Knock talked to us, he walked off to the south. Then he was probably going to Equal's Inn. Equal's Inn. Most visitors to Watchapello end up staying there. Let's go and check, shall we? To the inn! Beep beep. Beep beep. Should I be hitting this while I'm just like looking around? Ah! Phone! Who is that? Ah! Run away! What the heck is that? <laughs> is that a chair? This is a nice inn. I like what you have here. Oh, there he is. Can I have that basket? Here you go. Thanks. Now let's see if we can turn a profit. Well, Nock, I'm glad we found you. Are you interested in making a trade? Third promise, you, you wish to do business with me? May I ask what this is all about? I got swindled! Now I have to make money. Take my wool. Please. Uh, I see. So the goal is to turn that basket of wool into a jug of three-year-old premium mezcal. Might you have some, sir? Then allow me to invest in your efforts. Oh! <gasps> Peace and trawl is what allows me to cross freely into the lands of my suppliers. Naturally, I would prefer that one pledge to preserve that peace when thrown. Thus do I humbly offer you this wool poncho, a small token that I pray contributes to your victory. So we're gonna go around just, this is kind of cool. <laughs> oh, that's fine craftsmanship. A garment like that could easily fetch five pell in the hundreds column. That's very generous, Ball Ballnock. Thank you. I promise I won't let you down. I have every faith in you. Third promise. May fortune bless your future future dealings. Wait, what did you mean, RNG? You feel so included. I'm glad. I can't believe you quintupled your investment with your first deal. We're off to a spectacular start. Only because Miss remembered our weaver friend. All I did was hand over the wool. That's not true. The connections you build with people are vital. This is one of the most fundamental per, uh, percep precepts of trading. One which you've instinctively, instinctively mastered. Blah, blah, blah. Think so? I know so. Now, let's take our 500 pell poncho and trade it for something even more valuable. Here, you take the poncho. If I lost it somehow, Arabo would never let me hear the end of it. Can I wear it? Let me put it on. All set, our next deal is waiting to be found. This is kind of cool to go around. Oh my God, what? What? Excellent trade. Success, you traded 100 Pell basket of alpaca wool for a 500 Pell wood wool poncho. Wait, and wait. What? Interesting. Oh, the poncho looks like what they're wearing. <laughs> this music. Leveraging connections is a sound strategy, but we should also consider supply and demand. An individual in urgent need of a good poncho will offer more than a merchant simply looking to stock his shelves. That makes sense, but how do we know if someone needs a poncho? Uh, they aren't wearing one. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's the obvious answer, isn't it? We look for a person without a poncho and hope they're eager to buy ours. Yes, there you go. We find the demand for our supply. So where should we begin our search for prospective buyers? There are any number of places, but we could do worse than starting right here at the end. There might be interested travelers. Genius. <laughs> hmm, who here needs a poncho? A lot of Mamulja hardly wear anything to begin with. Those are probably lands, guards, or self swords. Mamulja, who soldier for a living, prefer not to wear much above the waist. It hampers their movements. So even if they have bared shul shoulders, Mamulja carrying arms can be struck off the list. Oh. What? I nodded. Find a potential customer. Well, they're all Mamulja, right? But this one has a poncho. Maybe they want a new one? I don't know, what? Sweaty? Disconcerted? Hard bitten? Maybe they want a new one. This one. <laughs> This one's already fully dressed. An artisan or peddler, perhaps? Come to rest after visiting Watchum Pillow, like Bull Knock. Would be my guess. Darn it. Okay, fine. Okay, what about this one? No, they have no. That's a lands guard. Probably dropped by the end to take a break between patrols. Yeah, okay. What about this one? Let's see, no coat or cloak, but also no weapon. Oh, we might have a winner. Okay, so, all right. That makes sense. I hit, I hit the most obvious two that aren't. <laughs> oh well. Hold there, friend. You're not a mercenary by trade, right? I was curious about your bold choice of dress or lack thereof. Oh, it was no choice of mine, believe me. I was attacked by beasts on the way here and barely escaped with my scales intact. My coat was not so lucky. I'm actually a tool maker from Tuliolo and was dressed quite smartly. All the better to show the Pelu I am a man who takes pride in his appearance and therefore his work as well. But now look at me. Well, sir, this is your lucky day. What a splendid poncho. This would be the perfect replacement for the coat I lost. We'd be willing to part with it if you'd like to make a trade for one of your fine tools, perhaps? What about this hatchet? I crafted it myself and will vouch for its quality. That blade looks sharp, the haft well made. I value it at one pell in the thousands column. Oh shoot. We're getting on up there, chat. A hole from 5,000 to 1,000. 500 to 1,000. We have a deal. Wonderful. A fine garment such as this should put me on an even footing with any Pelu merchant. Like the eponymous owner of Miplu's mate garden. A mate garden? Epon eponymous? I've, I haven't heard of that word before. Uh, for one, her field hands use hatchets to harvest the mate. Oh, it's a, oh, and I thought to impress her with a tool I sold you. No matter, I have other wares to sell. Glad I am to have met you. We should go to her. We sh he told us a hint of where we should go to next. Did you hear that? We've already found our next buyer. To Miplu's mate garden we go. Yes, but it's a fair distance on foot. We should take out packers. Yeah. These ones will be the calm type, right? The, I don't know. Excellent trade. What is this? <laughs> this is silly, but I like it. You traded a 500 pel wool poncho for a thousand pel hatchet. But I didn't really, do I really get any, like say in this 
Like, isn't it all scripted? <laughs> Thanks, B8. I'll have to ask you guys later when I go to all the different places, what's your favorite song? New, <laughs> new music, maybe not song, but music. Which area is your favorite in terms of mm, location and how it looks plus, and then music as well. I know, right, Oran? He's just so talented. Well done recognizing that tool maker as a potential customer. If you have a mind to change professions, you'd make an excellent merchant. Yes. Ooh. Hand gear. New hand gear. <gasps> My first Aether Current! It's right there! find which are the green ones and then these are you you get them from doing quests in the area we have a long way to go <laughs> that's okay I see this one's a very different game to all the other fa Final Fantasy games this one's an MMO so but thanks do you have your compass? Yes, right here. Right here. <laughs> this one. Mablu's dream. Before we get moving, you should be the one to hold this. The tool, the hatchet, thank you. With that, I suppose we should hop on the alpacas. Mablu has so kindly provided. We get to ride an alpaca. Look at how cute and fluffy. Ready to go? Let's mount up. Begin the alpaca ride. Oh my god. Oh my god, mine's so tiny. And it's off to the mate fields we go. Please don't split. Spit. Please don't spit. Wee. <laughs> I like it. Wee. Oh, shoot. I still don't trust them. Oh wait, I need to be reading this. You have a knack for riding, no matter what you say. Without our alpaca friends, we Pelo would never have become traveling merchants. Can you imagine walking all the way across Toral? We. I swear that mountain is too tall to be real. Well, Corazomor? That, <laughs> wasn't that the name? A forbidding sight, isn't it? One I've never appreciated up close. You have to take the long way around the cliffs to get there, to the highlands belonging to the Yaqui. Oh, really? Look how cool this is, we get to see the area. So Mabu, you said you are learning about the peddler profession. You don't care for ranch work? No, no, I love it. I love working with alpacas. But becoming a peddler has always been a dream of mine. It's just, I'm not sure I have the talent for it. Aw, if I can help you buy the taming saddle though, then it'd be proof that I can do this after all. In that case, you'd best get ready to be a merchant. 
Oh, look, we're almost there. Look at the cac. Look at the cactar. Nocto cactar. Is that what? <laughs> is that what that said? <laughs> We made it! <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> we made it! And without a single smelly incident. I sent the alpacas back to Colville's Inn. So we'll walk along the main road when we return to the village. Speaking of roads to travel, you were adopted by the Dawn Servant, weren't you, Third Promise? That I was. Then perhaps you understand. I was an orphan too, you see. Totally took me in. He took in all the ranch hands, actually. All of them? Yes, and everyone works hard at their chores. Grateful for the opportunity to repay the head ledger's generosity. Yet, here I am. The only one wanting to go off and be a merchant. Aww. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm telling you this. We need to keep trading things for your saddle if you're to prepare for the feet of gold. And it's mate harvesting season. They can't have too many quality hatchets. And, or add to that, Wolk Lamette's way with people. And we should have no trouble making a favorable deal. That's Miflu herself over there. Pass the hatchet to the third promise. Uh, and let's get to bargaining. She just overshared, and we're not gonna say anything like, hey, it's fine. <laughs> cute, cozy games. This game can be really cute and cozy. But there is a lot of non-cozy parts too. Like, some of the dungeons can be a little crazy, but there is some really cute and cozy moments in this game. Um. <laughs> There's five from quest, then ten you find on the map in this area. Yeah. Orca alpacas. Prepared. I am prepared. Hi, Snap. Hello. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope y'all are having a great weekend. Mabinogi was super cute. Mabinogi was fun, too. How <laughs> dare they follow their dreams. <laughs> You owe your life to Tobley. Don't even think about being a merchant. You have that little axe for me? Fine hatchet. Thanks. Now to see what we can get what we can get for it. Hmm. What are mates? What are those? What's a mate? Is it a, a nut or something? You're Meeplu, the owner of these fields. I have a mind to trade if you're interested. Well, well, the third promise. I might be convinced to entertain a proposal. What do you have on offer? This hatchet, forged by a seasoned artisan. The razor edge of this exceptional tool will make light work of your crops. So it's a crop. Hmm, the quality is acceptable, I suppose. I offer you a large sack of mate leaves in exchange. Uh-oh. A sack of mate leaves is valued at one pell in the thousands column. The same price as the hatchet. This deal would bring us no closer to the mezcal. If I may, Mistress Smithlu, it's harvesting season, is it not? Does not the demand for hatchets afford them a higher value? It is indeed the season, which is why I procured an ample batch of tools well in advance. Oh. We've missed the window for demand. In that case, we'll have to fall back on connections. Think of it this way. A generous deal here will put you in the third promise's good graces. Surely that's worthy of consideration. I do not wish to give offense, but I must tell you that I stand with the second promise. His innovations will improve every aspect of our lives. I believe including, I believe, including farming, and I will no longer have need of hatchets. I assure you that I have nothing but respect for a walk lament. That is why I'm prepared to purchase a spare hatchet at a fair price. Aww. 
Oh, caffeine wrench infused herbal drink. Oh, okay. I, I suppose it is fair given your reasons, but we ourselves would be no better off for the transaction. How about this then? If we were to help bring in your harvest, would you give us a better deal? As a matter of fact, I would. Until Kiwana's reforms come about, I can always use more hands in the fields. Then you can go ahead and add our labor to the bargain. Nice. Added value to tip the scales? How could I have forgotten one of the most basic rules of trading? You can rest here if you like, Mablu. Miss and I have mate together. Oh no, I'm helping too. Off to the fields then, and mind you, pick the healthy leaves. I'll take five good bundles from each of you. Time to go get some mates. Whoa, she, she ran. <laughs> she just went zoom. All right. I gotta go be a gatherer now. Is there any aether currents nearby? Oh, to the west. Oh, maybe not here. Aha! I found one. Excuse me, Mr. and Miss Alpacas. Wee! right Rhea mate tastes like dirt to me you've had it before I wish I had been able to progress my bar but I'd rather fresh start it what do you wait what do you mean RNG fresh start fresh start it like what do you mean does it matter which ones I pick hopefully these are good This is peaceful. What is that? What is that? Is that lava? Mm. Mm, this music's pretty. I'm at 20 subs today. Thanks guys for all the resubs and new subs and gifted subs. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, I need one more. Harvest verdant mate leaves. <laughs> Thank you, Effin. It's supposedly really good for you, but I couldn't get past the taste. Hmm. I've never had any. I'd like to try it. Especially if it's good for you. Maybe you just need to add sugar or <laughs> maybe that maybe that defeats the purpose. Y'all ever wanted to see a uh, Lollafell riding a motorcycle? All right, here we go. You brought me some leaves then. Question. Question chat. There's not that many people here. Is it because of this? No, there's just no people here. <laughs> it's Sunday! <laughs> Why do I even have that toggle? You brought me some leaves then. Sunday fun day. There's also six channels. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense too. 
An acceptable harvest. We'll see how your companions fared before I make any decisions, though. To be honest, I like it because it, it doesn't break my immersion seeing somebody do the same thing I'm doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rat on a hog. <laughs> what? Wow. Here, we brought our share as well. <laughs> Thank you, third promise. This is more than enough to hold up your end of the bargain. How much are they gonna give? Now it's time to honor mine. After adding the value of your labor to the price of the hatchet, I am prepared to offer you a full sack of our highest grade mate leaves. Yay. Premium mate! Bought at the shop, one sack of those leaves could would cost no less than five pell in the thousands column. Oh yeah. Then we bid farewell to this hatchet. Five thousand. How much did we need again? Ten thousand? I'll give it a good home. Talk talk of the contest aside. I'm glad we could come to a mutually agreeable trade. As am I. All the best with the rest of your harvest. Goodbye. <laughs> no, Zang! I gotta get to the next point faster, otherwise I feel like I'm following them. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'm not stalking you. Mavoy, what's wrong? It's as it... it it's, it's as I was saying before, even after everything Toby's done for me, I'm planning to abandon it all and become a merchant. But then I needed your help after forgetting a basic rule of trade. How can I expect Toby to accept my decision then? Have you mentioned your plans to leave? I don't like the other one. I feel like the other one's kind of mean. Not exactly. I wanted to prove I could succeed as a peddler before I declared my intentions. I seek to follow in my father's footsteps, but not because he expects it of me. I want to preserve Tural's peace and becoming Dawn Servant happens to be the best way to do it. You should live a life of your own choosing, and I wouldn't be surprised if Tobley held the same opinion, so talk to him. You're right! It's better to find out for sure than worry over what he might say. Thank you for the advice. <laughs> the teeth. At fir but first, we have a saddle to buy. I want that success under my belt so I can be sure of my decision. What's next then? We try to trade our tea leaves for something halfway to 10,000 Pell? No, I think we're close enough now. I say we go straight for the premium mess call. Bargain our way into double the value, eh? Think you can do it? Trust me, I will make this trade work. I admire you, Third Promise, that you're holding your own against such strong competition for the throne is inspiring. Uh, am I really holding my own against Koana and Zoralja? Confidence. Confidence. I, I mean, of course I am. I'm Luck Lamat of the Dawn's Promise, after all. I am concerned. Concerned. Baby is concerned. Hi, Whirly. Happy Sunday. Excellent trade. Yay. Has it always said? Oh, I guess it's always been that way. Oops. You gain Arcanist experience points. Oh my god, the rhino. <laughs> Rhea! <laughs> it's pink! The judging look? Well, it's more... I, I guess I... I never realized it says Arcanist instead of Scholar. I think I never paid attention before. I'm here to break the immersion with my pink rhino. It worked. 
A premium deal. Here we go. Before we go, let me give you the mate leaves. I don't need to risk proving Aaron Bell's point. <laughs> Ready then. Our next stop is the Mescal Distillery. <laughs> it makes sense. Uh, oh. Back to- wait. Wait a minute. Mm. Okay, I'm not in the- if it's nearby, I'll get it. Not- how do you say that? Noto Cactar? Not to Cactar? Ah! Look how it runs. They look like a cactar to me. <laughs> Thanks, Rhea. Fighting music is really cool. I like it. All right, and away we go. Wee. I'm excited to see what some of the uh, hunts, the big ones look like, the rare ones. <laughs> Rhea, you caught me. Darn it, I can't fly. <laughs> I should have probably just teleported, but whatever. Oh, I forgot I could do this on my mouth. Very serious gave me hello. Happy Sunday to you too. Thank you for 50 months. I actually did the random mount thing and it gave me that one. The what? The pink rhino? Wait, how did you hit? <laughs> it's wagging its tail. Um, how did you get the random thing? Are you talking about the using your, what are they called again? Company seals? Or is that only for a minion? Oh, you mean mount, oh, you mean just mount, use mount roulette, oh, okay. Can it pick the giant rhino? Oh, no, no, you're talking it picked the same. Oh, well, good. Mount Roulette's on my side then. Pick the little ghosty thing. Here we go. We've made it to the distillery. We'll want to speak with a man by the name of Gobli. Even among his fellow distillers, he's regarded as a master of the craft. He knows the value of his product, so if we're to convince him to trade for twice what the leaves are worth, we're going to need target information. That means asking around and talking in the gossip, or taking in the gossip. If you could talk to people here in the distillery, perhaps Waklamat could do the same at the village entrance. Meanwhile, I'll head to the north side and see what I can learn. I'm on it. Me? I'm a chef from Tuliol. I often came, come here to buy Gobli's Mezcal, the finest in Tural, according to my customers. He always brings out a jug during our dealings, but I can't handle the stuff too well myself. I take small sips, not wanting to be impolite, you understand, but still end up so addled as to agree to whatever price he quotes me. It would be nice to have less uh, potent refreshments during such conversations, else I might have to seriously reconsider our arrangement. <laughs> he gets drunk easily. Subli. Gobli might be a deft hand at distilling, but he's got no sense when it comes to appearances. Rumor has it he's been invited to the palace for business negotiations. If he presents himself to the court wearing his usual rumpled attire, though, he'll be laughed out of sun perch. Okay. Raflu. 
There's not much I can say about Gobly, but I can tell you what Gobly's been saying. The other day he was muttering about monsters prowling around Agave Jaws. That's the field where they gather ingredients for the Mezcal. Their presence has made it harder to procure said ingredients and thus driven up the price of his product. A boon, some might argue, but it's hard to celebrate when it affects the work as it does. Can't rightly bring joy to people if you can't keep making the things they love. Ah, oh, okay. We're gonna have to scare the creatures out. Where's my blue? Oh, over here. We're making tequila. Uh, I, I'm assuming it's tequila. <laughs> tequila. So what did you find out? Oh, we can make use of all of those tidbits. The deal is as good as sealed. As for me, I found out where Gobly is working. There's a millstone at the top of the slope behind the distillery. You go on ahead and I'll bring Wakuma. Uh, a tequila, a tequila adjacent. I have never had it. I don't do, I don't like hard liquor. I think when I was younger, I could handle it, but not now. <laughs> I can barely handle wine. <gasps> Pretty. <gasps> Look at the alpaca. Okay. You have business with me, madame? Why don't we talk down below so not to distract the alpaca from his work? Cute little baby alpaca. <laughs> now, what's this about? Keep it brief if you would. I'm a busy man. We're in the market for a three-year-old jug of premium mezcal. Assuming you have any on hand, that is. Ah, an excellent choice. I must warn you though, it doesn't come cheap. We don't have Pell, but we can offer a sack of mate leaves in exchange. It's top grade stuff, like the Mezcal. No deal. Mate leaves are well and good, but I don't have any use for them. Oh shoot. No deal, just like that? <laughs> she freaks out. Still, I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. Why don't we sit and chat a while over a cup of mezcal? Uh-oh. Look, look at her face. She's like, I know your tricks. Now the real bar bargaining begins. Which of our cards do you want to play first? Wait, what? Uh... I don't know, maybe this one, the chef's distaste for strong drink, because he wants to bring out the drink. <laughs> Same. I appreciate your hospitality, but I'm afraid I can't hold my drink. I've heard one of your regular customers, a Hubigo chef, is the same. Seeing as not everyone can enjoy Mascal, I wonder if you might benefit from having other refreshments to offer. Something like mate tea, for instance, and brewed from the finest leaves, of course. Ah, you're right, absolutely right. I had noticed a growing reluctance on the part of my Hubigo friend, but did not realize I myself was to blame. I must endeavor to be a better host. Still, even with that added value in mind, no sack of leaves is worth the mezcal you are after. But that was so good. Should we offer to call the monsters causing them trouble? Not yet. We'll keep that card up our sleeve until we need it. <laughs> As I expect you're aware, the Rite of Secession is currently taking place. That's why the Third Promise has graced us with her presence. When the contest is decided, the subsequent ascension ceremony and banquet will be prestigious, be a prestigious affair. If your mezcal were to be served there, it would bring your distillery immeasurable fame. 
Wait, could it be that your rumored invitation to the palace is to discuss that very possibility? As a matter of fact, yes, I must admit, I'm still reeling about the abruptness of it all. It would be a great honor and opportunity if I can secure the deal. Well, I should think your exceptional mezcal would speak for itself. That said, there's no such thing as being too prepared and first impressions last. You'll want to be wearing your very best when you walk into a Volok Sunsha. Su, su, shusha, shusha. It would be such a shame to miss this chance of a lifetime simply for want, to, want of proper garments. He's like, oh no. That it would. Are you saying you have garments to offer? Something ideal for court? We have no garments on hand, I'm afraid, but we can provide you with the next best thing, an introduction to a weaver. His name is Bolnak, and his works are highly regarded in Tuliolo. Look at her. She's doing so good. As a supporter of Walk Lamat and keen observer of palace politics, he will doubtless be happy to guide you in the selection of an outfit to fit his golden occasion, or this golden occasion. She's so smart. This is certainly a tempting proposal and one of which I should like to take full advantage, but the scales still aren't quite balancing. Let's drop our ace. Say, weren't there monsters running amok in Agave Jaws? That's a problem we could easily solve for you. Truly? I would be most grateful for your immediate assistance. I was reassigned I was resigned to hiring cell swords to clear them out. Factoring in that saved expense and an introduction to a trusted weaver, this is shaping up to be a sound bargain. All right, you have a deal. Yeah. Yes, I knew you'd come around. Give us a moment and Miss and I will take care of these prowling new and nu nu whatever. In the meantime, I use the time to pin an introductory letter to Bullknock. The fields you're looking for are just north of Watchin Pillow. Be safe. Nuisances. You prefer vodka or cider? Wait, really, Rhea? Cider? Or er, no, cider is fine. Vodka? All right, we gotta go north now. Um. Oh. Woof. I forgot I got the smell. All right. Uh, where? everything but the right thing um oh just north Whee. vodka doesn't really have a taste or at least not one as strong as others hmm. that should be agave jaws just over there. This will go faster if we split up. Come and find me once you finish clearing out your share of the pests. Where? Up here. Slow, slowly. Oh, I see, I see. Hi, Roll. Thanks for the tier three. A prickly barble. Thanks for the tears we get from C1 month. How you doing? What a big nose you got. Okay, let's go. Where's the other one? Oh, over here. Oh. Are these aloe vera plants? You should probably summon my chocobo, huh? 
cocktail called Venom. It tastes like orange juice. Oh, agave? Agave! Watching you grind while I grind on maple. <laughs> How's maple story going? Yoink. That should be three aether current so far. Compared to the creatures I hunted with Papa, this was no challenge at all. Come on, let's head back to the distillery. All that's left to give Mablu the sack of leaves so she can seal the deal. Seal the deal. I'm lazy. You had an itch to play Maple the other day? Working on your second character to 270? Is that the highest level? <laughs> wow. That's a lot of levels. Nah, no, 0300 is? What character, what class are you playing? But that takes years. It's okay, you got this. <laughs> I believe in you. Hi, Nelso, it's going well. How's your Sunday going? Cannon Master. Is that your main? Those monsters were no trouble for you, it seems. Now, if I could just have the sack of leaves. There you go. Sounds cool. I don't know that what that is role, but I'm assuming you shoot cannons. <laughs> Yay. Soon to be number 10 on Hyperion. Wow. Roll? Thank you for looking after our precious trading goods. Wow, number 10? Your monster problem has been resolved, Master Gobly. Here are the mate leaves and a written introduction to Bull Knock, as agreed. Yay. Does this end our running around quest? Not that I didn't like it. I thought it was okay. Then the deal is done. Here, your jug of premium mezcal. Aged three years, please accept it with my compliments. We still have to get that alpaca. What is a saddle gonna do? Yes, we finally have the mezcal. Great work, especially you, Mablu. You were the one that inspired me to come this far, Third Promise. But let's not celebrate until we have the saddle in hand. Mablu, is it? You drive a hard bargain, young peddler. I look forward to doing business with you in the future. Cute. Thank you, but truth be told, I'm just a ranch hand for now. Should I ever become a proper merchant though, I'll be back to strike more deals with you. Her confidence is much better. That has to be newer. Class, cause Cannon Master sounds awesome. Yeah, it has to be newer, right? I've never heard of that. But then again, I haven't played in like years. We got it. 10,000 pill. Heck yeah. I only played a healer. Is there a better healer class now, Roll? Or is the bishop always the better one? Or the best one? 
Oh, we get options of colored paint or colored dye. I don't know which color though. Do I want to do cactar green, raptor blue, or ice blue? Bishop's always strong. Always OP. Actually OP now. Mm -hmm. The green one? Even at the palace, I don't think I've held a ton or a 10,000 pell jug of anything before. My hands won't stop shaking. Here, you better hold on to it until we get to the saddle maker. Do we so we need a saddle to to tame a alpaca? Aha! Can you imagine if we dropped it and had to start all over again? <laughs> Luckily, haha, <laughs> funny. Luckily, Havley's place is not far. We just need to head across the plaza. So funny. Let's do it over. <laughs> yeah, ooh. Cool looking farting on the chocobo. Havley, we made it. This is it, the trade we've been working towards. Watch him say, never mind. I need something even more. Phew, still in one piece. Right, take time to make our deal. <gasps> Paige, thank you for 92 months. I appreciate you, how you doing? Happy Sunday. Amazing! Now finally being able to play Dawn Trail. I only waited two days, so I feel like that's like nothing, but <laughs> it's been good so far. I love it. Are you playing 14 too? Or as well? All right, let's make the trade. Get your tools ready, ready. Sadler. We've brought your precious mezcal. He's like, what? Wait, you actually got your hands on a jug? But you had nothing, a few measly clumps of wool. What we had was an aspiring trader with a gift for negotiation. <laughs> Aw, that's cute, ooh. Although I'd sooner aid no claimant but Zoral Ja, I cannot go against the guiding principles of the Pelo Pelo. The trade is a fair one. I will craft your saddle, third promise. Great! Stay and wait if you like. I have all the requisite material, so this won't take long. So he probably just gave a saddle to that other guy, the first promise. Right? I wonder how he's gonna choose who gets the thingy, the keystone. Your commission is ready. Catching a wild alpaca is never a simple affair, but you'll have an easier time of it with one of my saddles. Hmm. What else do we need to catch an alpaca? Now, if you don't mind, I have other work that needs finishing. Ah, oh, I can taste that smooth mezcal already. Mmm, tequila. Okay, that's cute. We did it! The saddle is ours! And to think we started out with only a, f a hundred pell basket of alpaca wool. Mavlu, you are going to be an incredible merchant. Thank you! It makes me so glad to hear you say that, third promise. We got what we came for, so let's return to the ranch. The others will be waiting. Taming saddle! Woo! We got it! I like this little effect that keeps popping up. Does it keep popping up throughout the game or is it just for this side... Or not side quest, but... Side story in the main quest? <laughs> Jai! Not currently, but probably in the future? Okay. What if... Have you been playing anything lately? Yeah, it's pretty big, Bill. This game is f uh, is huge. Is it fun? Yes, it's really fun. There's a lot to do in it. 
But yeah, it is a it is a pretty big uh, game file. <laughs> pretty big, pretty big. All right, we can't help her catch the alpaca, so we just sit here and watch her struggle. <laughs> You've acquired the saddle, then. Yes, and thanks in no small part to Ma Blue. Her name should be Ma Pink. Before you rush off to catch an alpaca, though, let me teach you how to saddle one. I'll bring one out of our wildborn friends so you can practice. Oh. Okay. I know, I know. This is something I need to learn. <laughs> like, they follow so nicely. I'm gonna try it. Make sure to do the free trial, Bill. Do we have, Zang, are you here? Do we have a command for the free trial? So we can easily link people. <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> it's so intense. <gasps> she did it without being spit on. Great sunken gods, I did it. Oh, look how cute. Look at the little basket. Ugh. He hardly seemed bothered, much less inclined to spit, as if he was completely accepting of Wuklamet's touch. That is because of the singular scent with which the saddle has been coated. Alpacas find it very soothing. Oh, that's why. It's the scent. Nice little lavender smell calm the nerves you know i've never taken a good long look at one of you before but you're actually kind of cute oh you're only now noticing that oh <gasps> the guy he's coming uh-oh zoralja he's back what having done exactly what he set out to do there's a gold shop? What is that? That alpaca he's brought, is it me or is it glowing? What? Che I call unfair. Cheater. Cheater. Dang, you lost. What the heck? They shouldn't even start yet. I've heard tales of such a beast. They say the golden alpaca lives a solitary existence deep in the valley where it shuns the company of both man and its own kind. Not only did he get a freaking golden shiny alpaca, it's one that's like rare. Freaking, freaking freaker, man. What the heck? Don't nod. Maybe it just rolled around in dirt. Or maybe they spray painted it. I believe that they spray painted it or sneezed on it or something. No way. How did he manage to snare a prize like that? A beast knows its betters. Faced with overwhelming strength, it can it will yield rather than risk death. An apt illustration of how greatly the power of the first promise exceeds yours, Waklamat. Okay, such so, so, a strength alone won't win him. Uh, our father's throne. I'll be the one to find the golden city, and then Tural can remain at peace. Yeah, you tell him. You tell that chameleon boy. An everlasting desire for peace can only be forged in the fires of war. <laughs> okay, calm down. To unite as one, the people must be taught. They must suffer the horror and the hopelessness firsthand. Exhaustion from prolonged conflict, the wages of war's merciless nature, those are what moved the clans to join in the founding of Tulio all those years ago. <sighs> Consider the younger generation of this village. Since birth have they basked in unbroken harmony, and behold, they regard war not as tragedy, but opportunity. Thus does the resilient son seek to... <laughs> the music. The, thus does the resilient son seek to provide education. He offers much needed lessons in the re realities of conquest and a renewed appre appreciate, appreciation for peacetime. 
Tis true that war's misery breeds a longing for peace. But I have seen with my own eyes what becomes of an empire forged through the violence you propose, the rebellions it spawned, and the ruins it left behind. Yeah, we have. We know. The Garlean Empire was a congregation of simpletons? Wait, he knows exactly what they're talking about? But wait, simpletons? Excuse me? Do you want to meet Zeno, sir? I'm sure he'll revive somehow. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I know, he doesn't even have a saddle on it. The heck? <laughs> Lulu. The uh, oppressed fought back against their oppressors as, as well they should. Men are not beasts. Only a fool would seek to rule over all with the threat of force alone. This is why Gu Gugul Jaja did not elevate the Mamulja. Why he treated all clans with equal respect. However, the first promise has his gaze fixed upon more distant horizons. He would unite not only Tuliolo, but the star in its entirety. What? Why? I need not explain myself to you. Oh, well done, well done indeed. The first promise has completed the feat of gold with an appropriately golden flourish. May I present to you your much deserved keystone? Oh. Does, does he have multiple keystones? He's always been like that, never sharing his innermost thoughts with me or even with Koana. It's like we're not even family. Aww. You know what? I bet he literally... He's the kind that looks so like, ugh! Fight! You know? Instead of whatever, but what if he actually lured the cute little alpaca with treats? And he's like, here, alpaca, alpaca, alpaca. Nobody saw it except the chameleon boy. Who's to say he was really... I'm just kidding, yeah. <laughs> Come here, alpaca. I'll ponder Zoralja and his mysteries later. Right now, I need to think about finishing the feet of gold. How the heck are you gonna do this? I have my saddle. I've practiced how to use it, so lead on to where the wild alpacas roam. The valley of Orun Kunka is northwest of here. Come on, everyone. Even if we can't enter ourselves, we can see Wakumat off on her hunt. So she can still get a keystone. I literally thought it was only one person could get it. So e everybody can get a keystone with this alpaca trial. All right. Highly unlikely. <laughs> Maybe he's really just a softy. Look at it. How are you real? It's like a shiny Pokemon. Look at his fuzzy butt. All right. So we have to watch. How the heck is she? Is she gonna find? She gonna find another golden alpaca? They made it sound super rare. How about we find an even bigger golden one? How about we find a rainbow one? <laughs> Let's find a rainbow alpaca. Leave me alone. Darn you. I can't fly yet. Oh wait, speaking of. A prismatic alpaca. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? That'd be better than some silly gold sparkling one. I can do this. I know I can. Cheer on Welcome as she marshals her courage to attempt the harrowing task of capturing a wild alpaca. Look, it tells you slash cheer now. 
Oh wait, I have to do it and say. Good job! <laughs> the sound I make is so cute. So cute. Good luck, that promise! <gasps> Thanks. I don't need it. Oops. Truth be told, still not sure about alpacas. I'd rather not go near one if I can help it. Was that the first time we heard Mablu? I like her voice. Maybe I just forgot. But it's been a while. If I'm to rule this nation, then I'll need to learn how to live with them. Tural is their home too. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Go find that mystery rainbow alpaca, you. You would think that so the alpacas. To the ranch or... You would think that the alpacas would be scared of her because she's literally a Harothgar, which is like a lion. <laughs> but, anyways. I stay here. As will I. Wuklamart is alone in this. The least we can do is stand watch and await her return. Yeah, Alpha, no. Leaving. Oh my god, it's almost four. <laughs> it may be a while yet. Help me pitch the tent. <laughs> what? We're already gonna just set a tent up? That's kind of cool. We're camping now. Camping time. <laughs> I guess it really does take that long. Oh yeah, look, it's already nighttime. Trust a gleaner to come prepared for anything. For real. What's a gleaner? Someone whose job it is to travel the world and procure uncommon things for their employers. Erinville specializes in finding animals, I believe. But aren't you a Shetona from Shaktural? Why did you cross the salt? Oh, is it more of his backstory? When I was much younger, the thought of leaving Tural never even occurred to me. But then, some years ago, my mentor tasked me with a difficult hunt. Something I could never find. She said, so long as I clung to the familiar. She suggested that I leave home, leave Tural, and join the cleaners is. of Charlion. As one of their number, I could experience the world, immerse myself in myriad cultures and customs, see the many faces of nature. And once I had learned what is truly important, I would find that which I seek. My younger self took those words to heart. And off I went to become a cleaner. Her words alone moved you to leave behind everything you'd ever known? You must have great respect for your mentor. As it happens, cleaner work was much to my liking. And I all but forgot why I had pursued it in the first place. I like the fire sound effect. It's nice. Yet, events it's conspired to put me back on the trail I'd abandoned. Wait, are you saying you were tasked with finding the City of Gold? Ah. I was. And though my hunt is now entangled with the right of succession, I mean to see it through. Well then. I understand completely. We all have our reasons for seeking the Golden City. Which is all the more reason for us to work together. <laughs> Just so. <laughs> more competition. <laughs> uh. <sighs> She should have been back by now. What if something's happened to her? 
We need to tell Tobli and arrange a search party. Wait. Do you hear that? Why? Oh. Oh. <laughs> they did it. But it's just a normal alpaca. Is it enough? <laughs> Wait. It took her that long just for a normal alpaca? Man, it must have been difficult then. All healing. You're utterly spent. And small wonder. <laughs> well done, third promise. The ranch isn't going anywhere. Take a rest in the tent. Be proud for your normal-looking alpaca. Thank you all for believing in me. Alpacas are no joke. Yeah, I guess so. I shouldn't judge. I've never got an alpaca. A wild one. Kylie a healer, but does it help heal? <laughs> I know, my character's like, Alpino's got it. I'll probably heal my butt off in a dungeon soon-ish. Later. I'm so relieved the third promise came back to us safely, and the alpaca she tamed is a healthy-looking beast. Surely this will be enough to satisfy the feet of gold? Should I take the dye, or should I take this silver piece? Usually I take the silver pieces, and then I just NPC them. Does... I mean, everybody gets this, so I guess maybe this is better? Unless people want these dyes? I don't know. What did... What did y'all do, do? FM Rhea? Did y'all take... Do y'all always take the items in main story quests? Or do y'all just take the... Uh, silver pieces? You take the silver? Uh... Or my inventory gets flooded with random dyes. Hmm. Okay. That is true. Okay, I'll. I'll okay. Hmm. I like options for dyeing clothes, so I took the dye. I'm not a very big green, blue wear. Actually, I don't know. I don't think I have a preference in color. Oh, well, whatever. I took the silver. Alright, knowing the Pelu Pelu. Walk Lament still seems a bit unsteady on her feet. Hardly surprising after she spent the night chasing the alpa chasing alpacas. You know what will melt away fatigue like magic though? Mate tea! I'll run to the ranch and get a pot brewing. That way you can take your time and the tea will be ready when you arrive. How sweet and supportive. As Mablu so wisely suggested, suggested, we shall set a slow set a slower pace for our exhausted third promise. <laughs> I'll show y'all some real speed. Oh, <laughs> his name, Senpai Thug Nificent. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's currently unknown time zone. What is that? What the heck? <laughs> the time is unknown light. <laughs> what, what the heck is that? That's funny. Right now it's uh, 3.50 p.m. for me. <laughs> funny. Choco purr away. Um, this way. Came back ahead of the others, did you? I should hurry along with the tea then. Well, Clement can't be that far behind. Oh, that 
tea really is magical. I feel better already. Why didn't they show her drinking the tea? Had an extra letter in there. Oh, there you go. Should we add that, like that time is my time or does it do it based off your time? No, it's based off my time, right? Yeah, okay, okay. I am still in Starting City with a free trial. Take your time. Don't worry. Oh, that tea really is magical. I feel better already. I see you've become more comfortable around our fuzzy friends. Watching this one taught me a lot about alpacas. What grasses and fruits they eat. What sounds they react to. Their adorable little quirks. I guess I've grown kind of fond of them. Aw. Ooh, I like... Oh. Welcome back, third promise. Accomplish the feat of gold, have you? Not the... It's not this. Hmm, huh, yes. There is no mistaking a valley alpaca. Valley alpaca? I commend you on your success. Well done. <gasps> so she did it. Yes, we did it. So it was good enough, even though it wasn't the gold one? Although, I couldn't find a shiny one like Zoralja did. <laughs> Glorious! <laughs> I'd be surprised if you had. Golden alpacas are born, but once every few decades? They are all elusive, solitary creatures that are rarely seen, much less captured, thanks to their innate physical and magical gifts. We suck. Only a single, only a single other person is known to have caught one before. That being, oh, Gulul Jaja himself, her dad. Papa was chasing alpacas too. So my grandfather's stories say. It was before the founding of Tuliolo, in a time when the mountain giants, the Yaqui held our people in thrall. Compelled by their overlords, our forebears would ride their alpaca mounts to the highlands to deliver gifts of food and other tributes. Those were wretched days to hear grandfather tell it. Then along came the young Gulul Jaja, yet unburdened by the mantle of Dawn Servant. So majestic, I know, right? Our people were amazed by his, by this imposing two-headed figure equal to the Yolkwi in stature and puzzled by his entourage of mismatched companions. <gasps> is that the, the, what is it? The, the guy that was lost at sea? I'm, I constantly forget the name of whatever. He's got a moblin of... Hanu, I can't see this person, and then a Harothgar, and then an Eorzean, perhaps? Um, <clears throat> I'm doing good, Storm. I don't know if I answered that. <laughs> Our people were amazed by this oh, wait, wait, mismatched companions. Some trembled in fear, believing a new conqueror had come. Yet, Gulujaja showed no such inclinations. He sat and spoke with us, sipping from the cups of mate tea we offered him, and grew somber when he learned of our plight. None could have anticipated what their visitor decided to do next. Gulujaja ascended the cliffs to face the giants and freed the Pelu Pelu from the Yaqui's sub subjugate subjugation. He then turned an aspiring eye upon our ride, riders and proposed we take to the road to peddle our beverages. This, the suggestion seemed obvious for one who traveled as he did, intent on fostering amenity between the clans. Oh. He's such a good guy. Ooh. So it was that a few words from Gulujaja transformed us into a clan of inter, inter merchants. 
<sighs> these words. Hi, I. Oh, thank you. I've never heard the bond Papa Forge with the Pelu Pelu spoken of in that way before. The saga is not so detailed. Then you may not know that Gulujaja sought a sure-footed guide for his trek up into the highlands. Thus did he capture a golden alpaca. Oh. So he had a guide? So both my brother and my father caught the rarest of creatures, while an ordinary one was the best I could manage? Aww. The feat required no more than that, third promise, and you brought back a perfectly wonderful beast. Beast? This is a little cute alpaca. Mom Blue's right, you're a perfectly wonderful beast. If anyone's ordinary, it's me. Oh, Pet it. Not only did you accomplish the feat of gold, you also made many trades and brought joy to many people in true Pelu Pelu fashion. I sorely doubt your sibling could have achieved the same result. That is true. You should be proud of the accomplishments which earned you your keystone. I like the lesson that's being taught here. I like it. <laughs> it's it, they're new I heart <laughs> they're new so this is what they look like they look like candy go on set it on the tab set it in the tablet so we're in a whole new land I heart they don't have chocobos here but they have alpacas <laughs> whoa a perfect fit that leaves six more Ooh, what is that is that a tree? You're well on your way, third promise. We'd have lot been lost without you, Mablu. Thanks to you, I learned so much about the Pelu people and your customs. It might seem obvious, but I've come to realize the importance of properly knowing something. It was because I didn't understand alpacas that I was uncomfortable around them. I'm thankful to you as well, Wooklamat. You've given me the courage to say what I wasn't sure I could ever say. Oh, here she goes. Totally, I want to leave the ranch and become a merchant. I appreciate everything you've done for me and I've loved every moment caring for the alpacas. But this is something I need to do. I need to walk my own path and make my own trades. Hi, Ellie. As your parent, allow me to say one thing. As your parent. I've always tried to give my wards lives filled with as much happiness as I could provide. Yet never once have I wanted that to be the only happiness you knew. You have my blessing to walk any path you choose, my blue. It gladdens me to hear you found a calling you wish to pursue with such passion. You will make an exceptional peddler, I'm sure of it. <sighs> Thank you, Tobly. What did I tell you, my blue? Cute. Oh, now it's the nice song. <laughs> There's one last thing I can help you with, Third Promise. You need to find the Golden City, right? That's the end goal. Then I suggest you talk to the Yaqui. Oh. Really? They once ruled over far more than just Urukopacha and the Pelu Pelu. A thousand years ago, they were the overlords of Yak Tural and all of its peoples. During that era, the Pelu Pelu were commanded to search for a city of gold. They sourced every corner of the continent, but never found any trace of that fabled place. But if they didn't find anything, what could the Yaqui have to tell us? They may not have found it, but the fact that they thought to look for it at all makes me curious. Perhaps there's value in delving into how the legend originated. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
Oh, I think the follow age thing doesn't work anymore, but I think if you click on your name, it should tell you, and I think... <laughs> I keep forgetting how it works. Well, hi, Ellie. You have been following for a long time. We lose nothing from asking the question. Besides, if we're determined to follow the path of the saga... We'll be visiting the giants eventually. I really want to know what these people look like. Ah. They're up here? They're in here? They're up there? They're here? Oh, Kyle, I have a question I've been meaning to ask. And since we finished with the feet, where did you acquire that earring? Oh. My earring? Do you recognize it? Yes, pieces just like it first came, became fashionable in Yachtural around 20 years ago. Since then, it's become common to wear one as a charm for safe travel. 20 years ago, right about the time my grandfather made his journey, yet the dawn servant implied the earring was connected to the Golden City in some way. Surely there was more, surely there was more to its significance than simple fashion. If you want to know how it first came to be crafted, I could try to find out. Seeing as it's a regular seller for many merchants, I'm curious to learn about it myself. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you. Jumping feet first into the peddler business, eh, Mablu? <laughs> Heck yeah. Right then, let's head back to Tuliolo and get ready to search for the next Alepta. Next Alepta. Farewell for now and thanks for all your help. I will become Dawn Servant, so make sure you set aside your best mezcal for the occasion. Cute. Did I have him turn it off or did it probably just broke? He never I don't get him to turn that off. She has a fearsome she has a fearsome opponent in that brother of hers. He even brought a golden alpaca to heal. Well, you've heard Zoral Judd's supporters talk. They might see opportunity in his expansionist ambitions, but they find the man himself intimidating, terrifying even. Whereas I've grown to love Wuklamat, everyone she meets will come to love her too, and that's why she'll win the throne. You might be right, Mablu. You might be right. You might be right. You know, the Pelu Pelu remind me of, like, the little kids that run around in Aorzea. <clears throat> Not the Lollafell, like, the, the actual, like, children. Are you starting Dawn Trail MSQ? Yes, I've been doing the Dawn Trail MSQ for the past seven hours. <laughs> so we're kind of in the thick of it. Well, I feel like we're still at the beginning. Oh my god, is that... Is that a barding with a cactar on it? Oh my god, look at the Wild West barding. <laughs> I like it. You can see following, clicking on your name in chat now, I believe. Okay, yeah, that's how you do it then. Yeah, Zane, can you? You know where the Pelu Pelu are from, right? I don't believe they've said it, so don't say it. I believe they haven't explained where they're from. Unless I'm wrong. Uh, it feels good to have the feet of gold safely under our belt, even if my victory pales beside Zoralja and his shiny golden alpaca. I know I shouldn't let it bother me, and gods know you've all been so supportive, and I want to be strong or wise like my brothers, to be a promise that people respect. Aww. Which is not likely if I stand here carrying on and on about things. Let's move on. Back to the Bali of TA with us. The contest has hardly begun. That was a very valuable lesson just because you don't have the golden alpaca doesn't mean your alpaca is any less. Right, chat? Lessons are learned in the game of Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> no, not like in Final Fantasy XIV, which Final Fantasy game? Oh. 
I don't know. I haven't played that many Final Fantasy games. So I probably wouldn't know. They're in, fi they're in Final Fantasy X? They're in 10 and 10 2? Oh my god, the one game I play and I, <laughs> I don't even know. Wait, really? What are they called in Final Fantasy 10? It's the Beaks? Final Fantasy 10 2 has Tobli in it? Wait, really? Oh shoot, no wonder I don't remember. They look very, oh shoot. <laughs> How, I forgot. Well dang. Oops. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. My bad. <laughs> Fair Final Fantasy Marathon one days? What do you mean isolated? No, I normally stream. I'm gonna have to go. Oh, I have to go now actually, but I normally stream this long anyways. <laughs> I don't want to put it down. I'll probably go and find some more Aether Currents later. And just like that, we found an Elector and won our first Keystone. I know, I knew I was right to trust your instincts. Come on, let's keep things moving and march onwards to Kozama. Ga. Chances are good we'll find an Elector there as well. Before we do anything, however, we should see what your patient Hanu friend has to say. I think this is a perfect stopping point though. Cause the next, now that I finished the Pelu Pelu arc, arc, would you say? Um, now I have to do the Hanu Hanu arc. 